Hi, this is Doug Stanhope, as heard on the Doug Stanhope podcast. What follows is a podcast we already did, but we have to preface it with Bert Kreischer's new special is going to be on Showtime tonight. Just Google it. It'll help you spell Kreischer, watch his thing. And now, here's the podcast we just did that we don't want Kry... Uh, Fuck, oh, God. Fuck no, you. Lee, you just leave all the boners in. Let me get Remember the name of Remember when the- boner was just a goof or a mistake, and now it's something I can't get without a Enough pill. of? <laughs> hey, watch Burt Kreischer, and here we go, talking about the weirdest, worst, best week of my life. Starring Chad Shank and others. We continue talking about the weirdest night of my life. Don't fix it. I did. I, I, that was perfect. Here, here, One job, Stanhope. Let's, let's go back into this where I start perfectly. Oh, good. More Click. edits. Shut it. No, you keep all this in. Just watch Bird Crash Your Special tonight on Showtime. Or way and later. It's free if you're fucking not a retard. You can find out a way to get a free Steal Bird Crash thing. thing. Steal it. Hold on. It's coming up. If you just had good... What the fuck? How come it's not on his website? I don't even know if it has a name. Bill Burr would have dropped this podcast already. Shirts off, guts out. (laughs) Don't touch my feelings. Is that really the name of it? No, that's funny, though. (laughs) He'll hate you for coming up with that, and he didn't. Burt Kreischer would never hate me. Oh, here it is. Oh, geez. <laughs> we did a two and a half hour podcast. I should just check my text messages to see. Oh, if I think my it's called The Machine, dead. isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah. The Machine. Again? Well, the last time he's telling the machine story is this special. Then leave him the fuck alone about it and let him tell other stuff because he he's told funny it on, no matter what. He told what. it here. He, which, people it, make him tell yeah. it everywhere, and I think that's why he's just going to do it one more time. This is the, yeah. the definitive The Machine story. It's also in his book, Burt Kreischer, Life of the Party, which you can get an audible uh, as an audio book read by him. That's Just hilarious. not read by Chad So Chang. you're saying he's redundant, but this time you can see his chest live? So it's uh, Burt Kreischer, The Machine, on Showtime, Friday, November 11th, 10 p.m. That is all. All right, you guys, we practiced it. You want to do it? Some, some of that could be a commercial. Just say and. Oh. Ooh. There you go. Doug, what do you want me to say? <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't. What the fuck you're no, doing. I heard you say my name over. with one less G I, than I, usual. I, 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 how did you have a fucking other plan when this was over? What happened? I, I was checking on the dead girlfriend thing. You know? Tracy, take the pictures now. I'm Greg Shaley. I'm Chad Shank. And I'm Doug Stanhope. Oh, my God. You need to be a little bit louder. Sorry. I'll, I'll turn you up a little bit. I'm Greg Shaley. I'm Chad Shank. And I'm Doug Stanhope. Is there a volume button on the back there? <laughs> that's, as, that's as loud as she gets. All right, I'm going to... say it in fil- just an and I am no. in uh, whatever your native language You're gonna is. You're going to say Filipino again, right? Yeah. yeah. No. Wait, what? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'll say right, it louder. One more can time. You, say it louder? you can get closer to that thing too. It's just not registering on the thing here. So, okay. I'm Greg Shaley. And I'm Chad Shank. No, no, oh, you can't sorry. say Sorry, I said and. I was trying to cut her off. All right, ready? Get a little closer to that. I'm Greg Shaley. I'm Chad Shank. And I'm Doug Stanhope. Is that right? Yeah, that sounds good. Good. It's a wrap. Oh, shit, it wasn't on. Here, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to do it one more time. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, no, you got to Who the do fuck it. knows? I'm Greg Shaley. I'm Chad Shank. And I'm Doug Stanhope. Good. Okay, uh, bingo's in a coma. I'm going to make this uh, as quick off the top as possible, mostly because the uh, Browns-Ravens Thursday night football game is about to start, and... Uh, We really need to watch the uh, winless Browns on Thursday. 
Uh, Bingo's in a coma. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the quickest overview possible. So that way, you, if you don't want to listen to a whole podcast, you can. I don't have to text you the story. Bingo had her 40th birthday party planned for Monday. It was going to be the party two days short of her birthday. But that's when the family congealed and came from all over the country. We, friends, she had like 20-some people just from out of town, much less locals. And... Uh, but... 80% of them were here already. There was just a few more people that, that were coming in the next day. Right. Yeah, so the party. Uh, this is the uh, pre-party. All of our parties are five days long somehow. So this was, but this is the bulk of people were showing up on the Sunday or were already here for the Sunday. And uh, Bingo had a seizure. The last time she had a seizure, and I, I, I can blame cocaine but she's already on so many meds. And when there's a, a, a stressful situation, she doesn't sleep. She stayed up for days planning things and making little packages and shit. The last time was right before she shot her music video. So she was up for days. Yeah, there was cocaine involved. But you know what? 90% of our listeners do or have done cocaine, and it doesn't end in seizures. None of us had a seizure the next night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, it's uh, actually planned for two months to to put on the the music video was another like long stretch of planning, yeah, and, and just being manic about and it. The day and the same before, with this. the night before, just like the music video. Oh, all of a sudden, blinking eyes, and that time she fell on her face. The the seizure is all of a sudden it comes on and she crumbles and either goes forward or backward because. Both times she's been on elevated, like on a hill. <laughs> no, no. The first time was slanted. in a parking lot. But wasn't but it, it was slanted? On no, it oh, was wow. just straight. She seized straight up and Went then fell on forward. her face. Yep. Oh wait, Joby was there for both of them. So yes. you want to blame cocaine? Blame Joby is also a common denominator, <laughs> and he's got dreamy Viking good looks. Uh, so, okay, so yeah, uh, 828, I know, because uh, I was one of 85 people calling 911. She went right backwards from the, 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 the driveway down a couple steps onto the back of her head, busted it wide open, gushing blood. I'm drunk enough that I'm right, I go right for the jokes, because you... Well, yeah, yeah, people, you know, saying, oh, someone, uh, someone ended up fall in, call 911, whatever. So I run down there to check it out. Scott's got her head. A nurse. He's actually yeah. a nurse. Yeah, actually a nurse. He was amazing. He's got she her head. She covered everything for this party. Oh, but she yeah, had she a was nurse great. too. That's like when you get a flat tire right in front of a tire shop. Yeah, she busted her bean open right in front of a nurse. Yeah, yeah. Mid conversation. Uh, and and uh, well, not fucked up either. It wasn't like end of the party. This is mm -hmm. 828 at night where she's still. Yeah, you know, functional and semi, yeah. And, and the family, he, the like her parents had just left, and uh, that that other. It was uh, like nine thirty at night. Yeah, yeah. but they had, they had yeah. just left, so mm -hmm. it was just kind of winding down, and a football. So, yeah. well, so the old winding down for the yeah, yeah. elders. <laughs> Bingo's parents had just left, but we're mm -hmm. still you know getting in tune. Uh, yeah, and Scott's holding her head, uh, and I walk around the corner, see her on the ground, him holding her head, and it's oh well. We've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, he says, There's oh, no well, panic at all. Yeah, I, did, I wasn't you know, even worried about it. And he said, oh, she's bleeding. Uh, grab your phone and, and see if you can find, you know, turn your light oh, on. Yeah. And so, okay, couldn't really get a good angle. Look underneath and there's a stream of blood hitting the concrete Pavement. and just Ugh. pouring out. Okay, so someone grabbed me a towel, grabbed a towel, hold the back of her head closed and, you know, and he's got one hand underneath her head holding it, and she's still kind of seizing a little bit. My hand is on the back of her head holding her brains in. All I could think of is that's how she used to fake orgasms. <laughs> and uh, then we, uh, turning on the light, checking her pupils, you know, both of us back and forth, you know, kind of thing. And at 10 minutes it takes for the ambulance to come because Seems someone like more than that. Someone gave him the wrong address because well, they were, it was you got the, Arizona Street. <laughs> all right, it was the girl that came in. We're all in the funhouse when she had passed out. There's a group of us, and a girlfriend that we hadn't met of one of her friends comes in, and she goes, 
Um, don't panic, but uh, uh, we need to call 911. She has her phone in her hand. Well, why don't you just call 911 rather than make everyone panic? <laughs> Which no, we did. no one panics uh, because no one panics because it was like, um, hey, uh, is there? Any, do we need ice? And could someone call nine one one? It was very, yeah. like, <laughs> very subdued. It was well, very at, very at calm. Woodstock when they go, hey, don't eat the brown acid. People didn't run out shrieking. Yeah, like, there's a problem. Can, they're, they're used to the these kind of situations. Yeah, we're not going to panic. I just get a drink. <laughs> so. Uh, so after we wait for the ambulance for an eternity, yeah, by this time it, like her Negan style wound on the back of her head is, you know, it's getting pretty soppy. <laughs> so then I call 911 and I made some joke. I go, "Yeah, I'm guessing you probably get a lot of 911 calls." Uh and I said something and she laughed. She goes, "Yep, and I'm the only one working." And you can hear the phones <laughs> ringing around her they're all 911 calls for you you uh, she goes what is the address i said 212 van dyke everyone knows where i live well someone told me it was 214 arizona street and i go who's staying at an airbnb at 214 arizona street <laughs> oh, of course it's the girl that initially came in i need to call 911 no one panic well maybe panic uh, would be good if we give you the address of our house rather than where you're staying. <laughs> well, it's all I knew. We didn't ask someone. <laughs> so close. But we're still laughing. It's still all happy and jovial as the pool of blood swells up. <laughs> so they take her to the hospital where she's a regular. She falls down a lot. She has some problems well, They took her out of here like... Completely, like they, they had the collar on, and they, oh, yeah, they had the, the board on the board and, yeah, strapped like, down. It's the whole double. thing. I mean, if she, we were she football never players, too. we'd all be taking a knee with our helmets beside us. That whole and it's in a really fucked up place. They had to pick her up over a fence and through a small, yeah, a gate, and so they get her in there. I'm still not worried. Yeah, she's gonna have to get stitches again. At least it's on the back of her head and she doesn't have to film a music video. Uh, and then we go resume the party. And I'm adamant that, you know what, tomorrow she's already rented a bouncy castle. Photo booth? A photo, a photo, photo booth, yeah. yeah, one of those old-fashioned photo booths mm -hmm. that they're bringing down from Phoenix. Fucking uh, Elvis midgets jumping out of a plane in parachutes. <laughs> Not really that, but if she, she knew it existed, she would have... <laughs> rented it and i'm i'm don't worry party's still gonna go on everyone here tomorrow she's got bartenders she hired to come in so tracy doesn't have to do it party goes on make jokes make jokes, make jokes. And then as the evening goes on still drinking oh it's really bad it doesn't look good they're gonna life flight her to Tucson, just like mother. Oh, hope she enjoys the ride like mother. Still not too, but yeah, now a little it's bit. It's becoming more. real. By the way, Joey was crushing it on jokes <laughs> for that first the first two hours. Yeah, I mean you. I mean you. I've yeah. done this before. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, when it comes to tragedy and making fun of death. I do remember no. saying that it was, as it got bad. He, he's I go, killing, dude. This doesn't he's, happen to us. This happens to Joby. Yeah. <laughs> well, so it was uh, just when you thought uh, Bingo couldn't make this party any more about her, <laughs> she pulled it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was one after another like that. It was good. <laughs> and pretty spot on. Mm -hmm. But then... Hey, remember those... Uh, uh, Pilot guys you knew that flew over after your special with Stanhope written under the wings and they circled the after party the next day. Do you think they they do that for Jenya's baby? She's pregnant. She doesn't even have a baby yet, but they have some goofy nickname for whatever the baby's going to be. And she wanted yeah. those pilot guys to fly over with Jenya's fake baby name. I go, I'm not asking him to That's do too many that. characters. He can't <laughs> do that. Why not? Because you... Wait, for the party? Yeah, she wanted me to... Yeah. You know. That is, that is the nth degree. I mean, she was doing everything. Like, I mean, they were making a pinata the yep. night before. I mean... Tons of crafts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever happened to that pinata? It's still up there. Hazard, I think, right? 
Oh, she the had t-shirts. the t-shirts. t-shirts. She made a... Oh, wow. I've got the t- le- all the leftover t-shirts, by the way. So, oh, good. Yeah. I think we can return them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. For, for, I already set it up. So long story short, she's in a coma. Now it's day five. That was Sunday. Tonight's Thursday night. Thursday night football. Browns, Ravens. Uh, and she's still in a coma, ha- showed some positive signs at first that they were going to have to do surgery to cut out part of her skull for the swelling. Swelling, yeah. But now that it doesn't seem like they're going to have to do that. She, uh, They've put it off a couple of times. Each time they think they're going to have to, something happens to her. Because she's already had three CT it's three scans. three t- CT scans, and each time they were, eh, we don't know, and now they're done. So Yeah, yeah. And we get to, sometimes you get an update. Great news. She wiggled her toes. Oh, that's not the great news. <laughs> to you. Don't to start you. out with great news. That's to you, though, Doug. I know. Pe- people are being super positive, and they're taking everything. I, uh, yeah. But they, the, that, that doesn't, have, that doesn't I, work I, on I you. Guess I, Everyone I would else. phrase it more. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, she's moving her toes, which the doctors say is a really good sign. Don't go great news, all exclamation points. What, she's dancing and now she knows how to play an accordion? She may be a Denver omelet. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) She's no longer uh, vomiting through her nose tube. (laughs) Like, like that would be great news to them. And you go, eh, let's... Uh, so, okay, so now the rest of the podcast. That was the part where now you don't have to go, hey, what happened? Because all I'm going to do is go listen to the first 10 minutes of the podcast. Let's take a break. Monday. No, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, wake up, still bad. Now it's her 40th birthday party. Lindy, uh, whiskey girl sister, uh somehow managed to find because bingo set this whole party up by herself i go this is all your deal so we don't even know not all the people are even here and we don't know all of her guests that are coming to call them and tell who do we tell who's where because bingo's the only one who knows everyone who's showing up and when yeah doug maybe we should call everyone he's like who there's no (laughs) fucking list and i think you you uh you kind of jumped to Monday. We were up singing karaoke in here all night Sunday. Oh, oh wait, sure. we're, we're missing a very important beat. I think I already told this on the uh, End of the World podcast. Um, but I, I think one of her sisters had to go through her, her fanny pack yep. and to find insurance information at the hospital. <clears throat> and they already asked me. I told someone, hey, you know, I don't, I think... She was over the, there. That I'm sure it's there's blow involved. Maybe check. Yeah, Maybe yeah. Just check. clean up surfaces before nine one one gets here, and they couldn't find anything. And as they're putting her on the gurney, uh, someone says, uh, "I couldn't find anything. She wouldn't have it in her fanny pack, would she?" And I go, "She's not that dumb," which sure is enough. the dumbest thing I've ever said. <laughs> then Brooke uh, comes up to me as I think it's as they take her away. They're about to, and I yeah. just, and, and I, hands me. Uh, well, I didn't think she had blow on her, but I know she's so. You know, the fanny pack is like a her Linus blanket. Where <laughs> if she woke up without it, she's gonna freak out. Where's my fanny pack? So I go grab her fanny pack, but she couldn't. And she overplanned everything. It's when they get to the hospital looking for the insurance card that someone fi- finds a, a very They're substantial huge. amount <laughs> of blow. <laughs> and I said it's one of the straight sisters, very straight laced. I think yeah. it was one of the sisters yes. that had to do the locked up abroad. I'm going to smuggle this out of here back to the fun house eight blocks away. <laughs> And she hands it to me like, and I think it's just going to be a small little amount. And she just kind of palms it. Here you go. Hide this for me. This is what I found, you know. And and it's like golf ball size at least. But I said baseball numerous times, and no one has challenged me on <laughs> was, on the size. It was yeah. bigger than a golf ball. A <laughs> racquetball. How about that? There we <laughs> go. <laughs> and this is now several hours later, where. Now, I'm really in my pints, and we go, well, we have to, if she's being 
flown to Tucson. It's that bad. We're going to have to stay up to get news of what's going on with her. And now we have all this blow. <laughs> so as we're chastising her <laughs> for cocaining herself into a coma, we're doing her blow <laughs> to stay awake for, for news. Updates. <laughs> Similar to the end of that movie, Flight, <laughs> where the only way he can testify that he wasn't fucked up when he's flying the plane is John Goodman bringing in the blow. So that's what we did for a long, long time. Is that the beat that you're... Tracy, if you think of anything, we're just trying to go chronologically with this. Well, Lindy, I, I finally felt, rallied to. Uh, she didn't. Lindy, she doesn't, she Lindy doesn't was fuck with anything. Super like. <laughs> oh, there's a beat. She was freaked out on everything. Now I'm remembering shit. She laid down next to you in the, the pink room for a little while, and I, I guarantee she didn't sleep. She didn't. But then, like, I got. But a, before that, hang on. If you've ever seen the movie Downfall about Hitler's last days in the bunker where uh, what's uh, Hitler's wife's name? Eva? Is no, no, not Eva, Eva. Braun. That was the... Is dancing on the tables for his birthday and acting like the whole country isn't crumbling literally on top of him. We're doing karaoke out here at <laughs> four in the morning, doing blow, waiting to hear a word on bingo. And Lindy sings like a songbird. She does. Amazing. So uh, she, she laid down for a minute... Woke up the next morning to saw you. Crashed out on the couch, had a couple hours of sleep. And woke up with her, and she's like, "Shayla, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it's I'm uh, so embarrassed. What, what's what's going on? I mean, I we were singing karaoke last night, and I just don't, I don't know. And I go, "Is it because you were pitchy?" <laughs> 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 I think that's when she started crying. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but well, laughing that definitely was but when laughing. she started crying. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but she managed to cancel the bouncy castle she, and the yeah. Photo she did all booth. the things. Yeah, she went yeah. through all of her notes and everything. It took her forever to find all the uh, oh, bingo numbers. Notes, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It took her forever to rummage through decipher. All that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who speaks Klingon? <laughs> Who knows what the fuck it's written in? <laughs> uh, oh, I was doing CC and Coke. Uh, but that—that's when uh, like people started like that night. People were leaving to because well. When, once she got to the hospital that the night it happened, they were going to life flight her immediately. But then they, they didn't. But we didn't know that. They waited, and then they, they got her stable, which was good. And then that's when the family, the fa everyone just went to Tucson. So they And I had been up all night yeah, going, yeah. don't worry, party's going to go on regardless. And I wake up at some point going, oh, shit, I got to get up. This party's going to go on. Not thinking rationally that, no – all of her friends and family will drive two hours to Tucson and just hang around a ho a hospital room. Like, why would you do but, yeah. that? We got two bartenders hired. Some of them, <laughs> some of them left without even like clearing out the hotel room or getting their clothes. I mean, that was that was. We'll be back. That's you know, why I don't have yeah. kids because <laughs> then you go, oh shit, I can't even grab my stuff. <laughs> I look like a dick. If I grab my stuff before I go see if my daughter lives. So, Lindy, we uh, we connect her with Joby to go to Tucson. Yeah, I was heading out there and glad you reminded me. because It took two or three reminders yeah, yeah. for me to, to get her. And grabbed her, shook her out of bed, dusted her off, and threw her in the truck. And So we sent Joby to Tucson, mm -hmm. who was our cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was supposed to cook that day. But no one called the bartenders who traveled from Tucson to come here. And then that was my next call. <laughs> they called me. I told them how the do I get before. in? Yeah, they knew. I go, no, it's still going on. Come on down. At high hopes. But they didn't know how to get into the compound. They'd never been here before. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. They're walking not only into like our regular situation here, but they're walking into the situation with bingo in a coma. And they weren't the only ones. Yeah. Local people that didn't know were Bro showing up Bro with presents. gifts. <laughs> this is the day of the party, and there's only... Oh, we did that a couple times where let's act like we think it's bingo coming in 
when it was like Andrew or someone, just a local, and then they walk in and we go, surprise! Right. Oh, we thought you were a bingo. Now come in. And we made them, no, no, when she comes in, just yell surprise. This is why it's funny. And then eventually you go, just fucking with you. She's in a coma. We're going to find out if she lives a little bit later on. <laughs> and then you got to watch their confusion for the next half hour as they tried to figure out what was actually going on. This, Wait, so where's bingo? Like 20 minutes uh-huh. later. But you wouldn't joke about that. There's always, yeah. Hold on right. a second. I don't. There's always three beats of, now nah, you're fucking with me. Oh, yeah. And then, no, really, you're fucking with me. Seriously, are you fucking with me? And then they go, all right, we'll play play along for the next person. Like Andrew walked in with like a makeup kit from Halloween so he could do the Groucho mustache and the eyebrows because he's in a tuxedo, tuxedo and, a, with tails. and a pith helmet. To do, and that, yeah, they, you drop that on him, and it's like, well, here, I'll, let me do your mustache. He, he, yeah, he played up. He, <laughs> no, go, he you got, got the full follow through, on. dude. Yeah, we need a Groucho yep. for sure. <laughs> this party goes on. I uh, no sense in me being in Tucson staring at a, 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 a half corpse. It's not going to help the family. My sense of humor. Well, you did. I'll, I'll just continue the party down here. You did call a couple of people right. Like when things got serious on Sunday night and cancel going to LA. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, oh, yeah. Cancel me going to the you, end of the you, world the podcast. The end of the world podcast, which had been set up a long time ago and and well, it was your idea. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Been trying to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> now you had an excuse and I'm saying you're not getting out of it. <laughs> oh, that's right. It was you. I, and I remember you being no one saw me push her. Amazingly drunk as I was. <laughs> you said make sure no one's around. I don't know Scott. No, but I remember your eyes, and I know you're as drunk as me. Going, no, we're going. You don't cancel gigs. We don't cancel gigs. We're gonna do this. And I went, yeah, you're right. You're right. No, but listen, you were right. I w- I know I was right, but I didn't do it <laughs> from some kind of monetary standpoint. Well, we do, we're not making any money. I made, this was oh, a thing fuck, where I, I knew your head there. would be so fucked doing anything but going and doing something you're supposed to do. And you would feel bad later if you didn't do it. Well, you wanted to cancel from Bisbee. I'm like, you can't cancel from Bisbee. <laughs> cancel from Tucson. But at least show that you tried to, I can't get on the plane. Cancel. Do that. Do, just, you can't do it from here. Cancel not from your from bed. the hospital. Yeah. Well, the problem was, and I, I, I read the, some of the text messages I had sent Rogan a week before, where I was at the end of the ropes of another hangover for completely different reasons, where I was just saying, begging out of it, hey, will you take this over for me? I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to run a podcast. We don't do live streaming. Where I was just, he's like, just relax. We sit out. We get drunk, I smoke pot, we talk. That's it. And I went, all right, he sold me. Did he? <laughs> he? He was so stellar in that that one text message smoothed you out. And then, and then the night of the show as well was really, well, was really nice. In, in f- following text messages, this is before the, the whole bingo thing, I said, I was so panicked. I'm just at the end of my rope after being awake for days. And I said, uh, I'll just fake a stroke to get out of it. And I said that in a couple of different text messages. So then I thought, if I try to say Bingo's in a coma after I already threatened to fake a stroke to get out of it, (laughs) I'm going to be the little boy that cried wolf. (laughs) So then I had to go. I wasn't thinking clearly. I don't. Which one of us does? At any given moment, we think we're thinking clearly until 12 hours later, and then you doubt what you used to think, and now you trust what you think now, and it's a revolving pattern. So, so yeah, we got through Monday. We had some uh, gallows humor fun, and then Chad Shank and Chaley and I somehow got on a plane. Tracy, too. Tracy, oh, yeah. She wasn't going to sit here and stare at the walls. When did you guys leave? Was it Tuesday or Tuesday well, we morning? We were going to leave Monday that's night. Right. Oh, yeah, I that's showed up right. And that's I came, right. We, we, yeah. we waffled back and forth mm. on leaving Monday night until it wasn't Monday night anymore. That's right. We, we ended up I, fucking I just came drinking back, all night. I came back from the hospital Monday night late. Well, that's right. And yes. then you called up Kenny and said, hey, you want to place bets on 
on something and he told him the story. And he didn't go living yeah, or dying. He didn't believe you and he came over and it still oh, took shit. him a half an hour yeah, yeah, of yeah, us yeah, yeah. explaining the whole story and he still didn't believe you after, you know, half an hour. Oh, fuck. Like, that's he couldn't right. wrap his head around it. Kristen and, came over? Yeah, yeah, Kristen came over. Yeah, it was a. That's, yeah, that's, that's where I said uh, really fuzzy. My thing was, we, we had bartenders here that were all excited to bartend this party. And I go, well, you might as well start making us drinks because we had a shitty night. And that was at 11 a.m. Monday that's, on the that's day. That's when I woke up and I said, I'm, this is my plan. I'm, I'm, I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm oh, staying God. up as long as Stanhope stays up. I'm oh. drinking as long as Stanhope drinks. So if I shadow him... At least I know when he falls down, then I'll go to sleep, and then we... Because I, I don't That's know. That's why you were so I, fucked up oh, Monday dude, night. So you were destroyed, man. It was, it was not good. So when at about 8.30, we were supposed to go to the airport, and you're like, uh, no, we're going to... We're gonna go tomorrow morning. I'm like, that's that's a horrible idea. We go now. Chad's sober. He just got here. Let's go now. And you're like, no. And I go, I'll tell you what. One more time, I'm gonna ask you, when are we leaving? And then I won't say a word. And you're like, we're leaving tomorrow. That was it. And what well, we had tickets for twelve uh, thirty uh, the next day on Tuesday. So Monday, we you and I start drinking early. We're gonna go up. Monday night, so we can stay at the airport, and then we can wake up, uh, wake up with the hangover Tuesday, and we'll just drink there. That was the plan, and we'll be right next to the airport. And then uh, Monday night, we decided, no, we've had so much fun, let's keep going, because it's way better to wake up in the morning. Chad, you didn't even sleep. You were like so oh. afraid of not waking up. Well, there was still cocaine around, and. <laughs> <laughs> And then I didn't drink for a while because I wanted to leave the option open because I was like, all right, let's yeah. see, you know, just in case it changes at the last minute because it's changed a few times. So I waited for a little while. And then once it was clear that we were going to go, I fucking made up for it. <laughs> and it was fucking Chad, Chad is going to drive the boat. We kept saying, Chad is going to drive this boat. We're going to rely on Chad. So yeah, I never did go to sleep. I tried to lay down and I just never could. I was like, I'm not going to fucking wake up if I fucking go to sleep. So... I knew we had to wake up by nine. I have no capability of figuring out how to set an alarm on my phone. I just, I figure I'll wake up at 9 a.m. because we got to get out of here by 9 well, We have to now because of the time it takes. So by when I, I finally got my shit together at 9.25 late, I come out and Chad Shank sleeping on lawn furniture. <laughs> I think you probably got up and tried to rally us, I, but you're just laying no. in the sun on oh, lawn. No, no, I, I was in the rape trailer, but Just Jen went through and rallied everybody one time through, and so I went out and moved Just Jen, there. by the way. Yeah, I didn't just yeah. Jen slept there. Applause yeah. for Just, just Jen. Jen. Yeah, absolutely. She called me, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I, 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 I missed a lot of phone calls, probably. <laughs> but that's what I woke up to in a blur. I couldn't find my shit, couldn't find my suit. Just fuck it. If I have ID and a credit card, we'll get through this. I put a suit together and uh, put some pajama pants in my backpack, and I walk out, and Chad Shank is laying on the fucking patio furniture that was supposed to be set out for people to watch the band that never played. <laughs> Never showed up. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Kelly Carpenter. And, uh, uh, Kelly Carpenter yeah, and uh, Scott. But other than that, they everyone left. else went from yeah, Tucson to was, the... Yeah. They went right to the... Mm -hmm. I, I was so drunk trying to pack. And it took me like an hour the night before when we were drinking on Monday night. And when we got to LA, I had two jackets. It was like 86 degrees. I had two <laughs> jackets, uh, one pair of Saks underpants, and two pairs of socks. Brilliant. An hour it took me to do that. I wore the same thing the whole time because I really didn't have anything else to wear other than what I was wearing. Yeah. I remember when I was laying on the furniture and I was shaking. I remember with my hat over my face and feeling worse maybe than ever before. And I asked Jen, I says, what, what's Stanhope's status? And she says, he's still pretty out, you know, and it was getting later. And I was like, all right, I guess we'll have to go and get him up. And she goes... Well, we're gonna have to dress him. I go, fuck it, let's give him another 10 minutes and see what happens. <laughs> I don't wanna be in there putting underwear on Stanhope right now. I'm hungover like a oh, motherfucker. Fuck, I just remembered. We go, did the, we I did just the, remember uh, Chad Shank as we're fighting to get into the suburban, draping his ape arm over me, going, 
I like Chaley's idea better of let's leave last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with Chaley. Let's leave last night. I do remember a moment, Doug, where we were naked. Yeah. Walk like holy shit. Yeah, I'm not remembering this. And and we went and uh, the bartenders went to sleep. And we banged on their door to banged woke on them their up door. and told them fire oh, drill, shit. and none of us had fire pants drill. on. Even and Tracy, fucking, Tracy had no went. pants. Casey goes, I'm not taking my shirt oh, yeah, off, but I'll Tracy, go no pants. Tracy I, I went, it. Whoa. She's the one yeah, yeah. that did fire drill. Oh, my God. Because, Tracy, they'll answer the door if you're in front. And it's your voice. What? Fire drill. We yeah, made yeah, her yeah, say yeah. it because yeah, yeah. they wouldn't respond to us, which is wrong because they're the ones that poured the drinks that made us out of our minds trying yeah. to make them wake up and join the party. Wait, doesn't this happen all the time when you bartend? Oh, <laughs> God, no wonder I woke up feeling so I just so fucking remember that. Holy shit, yeah. what a fucking drunken night. If, I didn't recover from that. Tracy's taking her pants off for a joke, you know it's a good joke. Oh. <laughs> we, <laughs> or so you think. We were all still so drunk when we left in the morning, and we went had to go through Except the, our driver. For the record, yeah, these absolutely. are bartenders that are friends of ours that d- agreed to bartend because they can. They uh, came down. It's not like we just hired some kind of craft services and then sexually uh, harassed them. I don't know. I think I need to get more ice. Is, mis- <laughs> is Mr. Doug going to put the pants on? <laughs> No, they were they were great. They were awesome. <laughs> I, I dropped their names, but they don't want us they, to. No, no. They don't. <laughs> I, I didn't recover from that hangover the next day until... Oh, fuck, dude. I don't know how you drove. Almost time. I don't even know how the fuck we well, did. Well, we have to fly oh, on Tuesday. Go ahead. Go, just, go, go. No, no, no. I just remember something. Uh, plane. Uh, plane. I'll, I'll, All right. I'll so so get to the we, plane, we, and then I'll take it. We get to Tucson Airport. We get on the plane. No problems. That I remember, but you you might remember one I don't remember. Get to the bar, B Gates, our bar, Delta, our thank bar, you, Delta. We're we're at the we're comfortable there. We know we got a couple hours. We're fine there, and uh, yeah, it's it's cocktails. Yeah, keep going because now no one's driving. Because when we get we land in L.A., we're taking a cab or we're gonna yeah, Uber, and then everything is until we leave Los Angeles. No one's behind the wheel. Awesome. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing could go wrong. We just have to do this giant podcast, all-star cast, Bill Burr, Burt Kreischer, Joe Rogan, and anyone else. Everyone else. Everyone else. (laughs) We get in the plane, and it's, uh, was that the three? I got bumped up. Was it the three? No, no. You were sitting next to me. I'm on the aisle and you're on the aisle. That's because he traded me boarding okay. passes and put me in Chad first class. Chad Shank was in charge of getting yeah. us to the airport. Without him, we would have not, because I blew late in the. Uh, uh, I blew a point three five. Yeah. Chad uh, that night blew a point one zero oh when we're going to bed. I go, you'll be okay uh, to drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I woke up blowing a point one two, almost double the. Legal limits, so yeah, Chad, and I, so I knew he didn't want to, but he I, could. I think we were in economy comfort, so we're like, we we're oh, we were at the bulkhead, so like, and then you, Chad, was in first two class, seats ahead, two seats ahead, yes. and I think you were trying to sleep the whole time. I was asleep the whole your, time. Your head kept hitting; we could hear it. Hit. <laughs> oh, I could see it. I, and, I was in the window, so I could see his head with a little tiny pillow with a big Chad Shank head trying to. <laughs> Curl up is like a fucking elephant on a Q tip. It sounds like they're it sounds like they're clumsily loading luggage and it's your head hitting the side of the plane. I, I kept getting pissed off because I'd wake up when my head would bat God damn it, I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, I'm in first class. Ugh. So Doug is on the aisle. Window. Uh, well, Guys, I think it was a one and two. Maybe. Either way, we can see Chad Shank. It's a tiny plane. Tucson to LA. It's not a jumbo jet. At the bulkhead, but you and I are both on the aisle. And then to my right is Tracy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Tracy is as drunk as you. So we want and, to chat. Oh, you're chatting the whole fucking time. And I've got Over these, you. I've got my sunglasses on and I've got like homeless, like 
the strategy of homeless people? Like, did they think you're listening to something? I'm just trying to plug my ears with something, and you guys keep fucking talking. And you're, you're I told you to switch seats. I at some tried point. to switch seats, and she said no. And I don't know why. The road behind you was open. You could have had those two seats to yourself. You don't just play to Tracy, which is what you were doing. <laughs> That's I, I, true. I, I wasn't you were true. playing to the plane. The, like, and what happened was once we got airborne, shit got weird for you because you started this, the, a little bit of a spin out. Well, yeah, there was and, no distractions anymore. But, well, whatever. <laughs> You st- by the time there were, we there were uh, in and you between were, this whole party, there are instances of me blubbering, crying because I'm trying to use everything else as a distraction. And when there isn't one, oh shit, my girlfriend might die, uh, or or like a like a rally <laughs> hug, <laughs> like a rally a rally <laughs> hug where we're like, we can do this. This is fucking let's fucking push through, got push it. Through, push through, push through. You were being very fucking funny. And I'm trying to sleep. I just want to punch you so I can like go to sleep for like 10 minutes, right? What the fuck is your problem? You can't shut up the whole fucking flight. And Tracy is laughing the whole time because she's... Across she knows. The aisle. She knows. <laughs> no, cross me, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm trying to sleep. And she's laughing hysterically and like goading you on to every fucking thing because no one can see her. They can see me in the aisle and I got shades on. So they're like, what the fuck? Fucker, and these these two guys in the aisle are fucking. It was, we were getting the blame for everything, and I was trying to sleep. Right? I remember uh, Chad Shank. I can see him in first class in the tiny plane. There's one seat on, uh, the, on the one A side, side A and side, then yeah, two yeah. seats on the other. So it's him on uh, on the single seat. Oh yeah. And then on the aisle is a pilot, and then on the inside of the pilot is a douche. He was pissed at you. That kept looking back at me like, why do I have to listen to coach people? <laughs> and I, I, I remembered that. I didn't bring it up till we landed. I was thinking the same thing, and I'm in coach. <laughs> I'm having to hear you the whole fucking time I'm trying to sleep. Oh, I thought you meant to. Yeah, I got you. You got it. I think it might have been personal with that guy because there was two dudes in first class that everybody in first class was pissed off at because they were talking so loudly the entire time. And everybody, after everybody stood up to leave, they got up and stood, you know, in the front part. And everybody else got in line behind him and started talking about him like they weren't. They're like they already got off the plane. (laughs) Have you ever seen such rude people on an airplane? I was like, wait a minute, you're saying that he wasn't the rudest? Well. It was in sections. He was the rudest in your area. <laughs> the forward three section. Three rows had of its rude. Rude Dude, area. This was November 8th. We are landing. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the, the chick, like two, two rows behind at, me. At, like that, two in the afternoon, we're landing. Yeah. At, that at, close to the election. <laughs> she is uh, the, the, a gal a couple rows back. She's one of those people, like, pops up right away and, like, gets as far as she can to wait, even though. The, the, the seatbelt thing just went off. And then she's got a shoulder bag where, like, you don't understand your personal... You're, like, that's in, like, it's at my face. Like, this microphone, that's how close her bag was to me as she's talking and looking Junior around. It's old Junior bit about the <laughs> guy that, hey, Mr. Uh, Riding the Bus guy, <laughs> and about his backpack hitting everyone. Yeah, yeah personal bit. Yeah. Dwight Slade also had one. But uh, then that's when you fucking turned, you amped it up. You were playing to the back of the plane at that moment. When you, we landed, you don't even, I just I'm remember at, I'm looking at his at, eyes right now. No, he doesn't no, know. I remember I, yelling at that you guy. You said, Trump ahead by 7%? Oh, I was pretending to look at my phone. <laughs> and Tracy <laughs> laughed, and you're like, what the fuck? Don't fuck it. And the girl, the, the lady with the bag in my fucking noggin, turns around and is like, oh, what? Are and you then, serious? And then Tracy laughed. Tracy laughed, and it was like, oh. And Tracy's like, fuck. I get it now. And then she's like, what? Wow, I almost, I, no, you, I almost he fell fu- for it or something. No, yeah, she, you got her. She turned around, but then you were just a mess. You're a hot mess sitting there. And she figured, and then you just said, that's it. I'm just going to start working the plane. And you started yelling things. And I'm like, I'm leaving. As soon as I could get out, I'm I leaving. I also left with line. Shaley. I was like, I'm going to go to jail right now. I have to get off this plane because somebody's going to fucking start shit with Stan in a minute. I was losing my shit early, but we, we hammered down, plowed through, got a cab, 
I think I was fucking with the cabbie, but in a uh, nice way. Wasn't it? Well, you did you did talk about a three dog nighting it in a Armenian woman's uh, vagina hair oh, for a while yeah. that might have been offensive. He it was, was from Armenia, and I just uh, I try to explain the meaning of three dog night. The band name is because in Australia the nights get cold, and a really cold night when you huddle up with your dogs in the outback, that's a three dog night. And I assume that an Armenian vagina has that much hair that you might call it a three dog night. Does it get that cold <laughs> over there? I don't, was, but I, uh, he was very nice. Yeah. Was, yeah. You've never yeah. been that chatty in the cab. <clears throat> you're, you're the one who was like, Shady, shut the fuck up. When you, I'm, you, and I kept yelling back for yeah, you yeah, to over tip. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the driver was cool as shit. He played some music from, uh, he told him to play his favorite oh. music oh, from oh, Armenia. I want your top five go, list. Because he had an iPod. You got you, you got phone on your you yeah. got music on your phone there. I go. Yeah. He has Chaley has to listen to my top five you know, favorite songs. There's a playlist before I go on stage. Play us your top five Armenian songs, and number one, go ahead, Chad. Oh, uh, it was uh, a version of "Hit the Road, Jack" with some fantastic uh, Armenian horns in it. <laughs> no vocals, just the uh, just the music. I, I was. Going in and out. I had done that thing where you ball up yeah, your yeah. jacket. I balled up my jacket to try and sleep with my head hitting the window. And I'm like, that, that fucking song lasted the whole trip from LAX to oh. like to sunset, right? Or it was nah. a long. It was, I was a, like, it, was, I, it kept going. And I was like, who knew Armenian minutes. music yeah. is just hit the road, Jack? I didn't even <laughs> know that. I thought they had their own thing. So we stay at... Uh, oh, wait. Uh, the other thing about the cab driver that I remember that was funny was you fucking... Uh, you just kept, like I said, just distraction. You kept trying to talk to him, and you, you said, uh, you can kill, uh, you, you, as a cab driver from another country, uh, it, we, you didn't know where he was from with this time, you said, as a cab driver from another country, you can kill one person and get away with it, Trump or the guy who started Uber. Oh, who would you rather? Yeah, yeah. Who would you kill? It was Trump or the guy who started Uber? And the guy told you, oh, I drive for Uber when I'm not driving a cab. And we all <laughs> fucking lost it in the cab. We're in a taxi yeah. cab. Yeah. For, for, for middle America, small town people that don't know, cab drivers hate Uber drivers for making a better deal. And then they protest and riot and they hate them so i'm in a we're in a real cab and i like to get their dander up about uber because they just scream and yell they're killing my bees knees he's like oh no fuck I just, those guys I, fuck those guys yeah, i drive for uber <laughs> yeah this guy drives for both <laughs> smart yeah smart which only they voted then, smart people then when we got to where we were going you had already lost your uh yeah. cell phone charger and you bought a new one yeah. and then lost that one before yeah. we even got in the cab. Lost. I only had my ID and one credit card and lost the rest of my credit cards and my parking pass and debit card. So the minute I couldn't we find the suit I had pre-packed, so I had to, that's why I had to wear it, put together a different suit last minute. And the minute we get there at the end, you can't find shit. Can't it's, find it's a done. fucking thing. It's done. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. We have four hours to showtime. I'm fucked, but we have Adderall. So take my Adderall early. Have uh, Can't stop drinking at this point. Just pace yourself. No, you, uh, you made a point, I noticed this, that you made a point not to drink until 6 p.m. That's not true, because totally Hennigan true. came over. I don't know what time it was. No. Hennigan showed up with booze, because at this point, Tracy, Chaley, and Chad Shank have gone to bed yeah. and left me alone with my brains. So now I'm really falling apart, and it's been too many days of partying, and my girlfriend might be dying or going into surgery, but I've committed to do this End of the World podcast... And I'm staring. There were one of Johnny's houses, and there's a, a painting that I don't still to this day. I think it's, it's like, Iggy Pop. It's whatever <laughs> it is. It's six foot tall. So when you sit there chain smoking in the kitchen with a bottle of whiskey, and I'm you were, I'm what, losing my hold shit. on a second. You were drinking at that point uh, when Brian yeah, came. He didn't stop. I was, 
I was just sipping the whiskey okay. off the bottle. All right. All right. I wasn't like plowing in. Because there's always there's foodstuffs for us there. There's some sundry items that they know that you like, and that's there. And then there was some vodka and some whiskey. But when and we brought our own, as vodka. much as you think I was sleeping, every once in a while I'd hear. Kelly Strangers! <laughs> See, that's, I kept, that was what I was going to say, too. Well, I kept having dreams because I was good. Staring at this giant I know. painting Strangers. that kind of looks like Manson, I get this song, Killing Strangers, in my head, which on the last road trip... It's we, your walkout number. We walked out to that because... It's actually a really great it's song. It's a good fucking song. great song. Yeah. Bye. Yep. Bye, Joby. Joby's out. Love you, uh, Joby. Oh, Joby, if I forget, I already tweeted, I'm putting bingo on trade round on the 15th into the death pool just to show we're not hypocrites. I'll bet on my own just... That's a sucker bet, though. It's a sucker sucker bet, bet, but I feel like like I owe it to the people. Yeah. So uh, I... I'm just. I'm it's what she wanted. Shit. Hennigan's in and out, dropping off stuff, and now he's gonna go check the comedy store for the thing. And I'm alone, losing my shit. Yeah. Like, there's no distractions anymore, and I'm checking in, and I'm falling apart, and I keep s- screaming, killing strangers, because I'm looking at what uh, looks like a painting of Manson, and then I go, and Brian shows up at one point, and I'm out front smoking because he said he's. Pulling up out front, I don't want security to have to, and I'm fucking bawling. And Hennigan, the least emotional, kind, gentle person, comes up. He goes, "Well, give me a hug." And it was the most <laughs> awkward. Yeah, like no, yeah, just like the, the water. You want to throw up in your mouth? Face. It's yeah. not like. <laughs> When you told me that story, I tried to picture Brian Hennigan giving somebody a hug, and I couldn't see. Like, yeah. when I pictured him, he, like, did it wrong. Like, he missed. Like, he, <laughs> like, you, uh, yeah. like, you like he did an alligator he, clamp. He, he like, you went shoulder to crotch. <laughs> Is this how they do it? He has to put on a bull inseminating <laughs> rubber glove. <laughs> And then reach around you with his tailbone stuck as far backwards as possible. He said so, a bull inseminating glove. Yeah, not just rubber gloves, all the way up Shoulder to the gloves. You don't inseminate uh, a bull. Whatever. <laughs> just got that too. <laughs> See, that's how wrong Hennigan got you it. Know, he bought a whole box yeah, of bull, bull inseminating, inseminating gloves. gloves. <laughs> Listen, you don't know the same bowl Stanhope knows. I guess not. Hey, hey they losing, drive on the left losing, side over there too, right? We're losing Stalker Deb and Joby are walking we're, we're out walking, on our podcast. We're walking people. Laughing. Like, what? We can't even keep people when we're doing good. <laughs> you, you, you walk out yelling or wanting to see the manager. Uh, uh, so at some point, I, I was so twisted that I go, fuck, I, I don't even want to call Manson, but it's like, so yeah. Hold on, you're going ahead. I think you called me or you texted me at one point and was like, hey, uh, you need to talk to Hennigan or whatever, right? Because I'm, I'm up. I'm, I'm fu- Tracy's passed out. Chad, you're the rock star room. Of course you're fucking asleep. And I went downstairs and I, I realized you were alone. I didn't know you were alone. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I just need to be in the room. It needs an, another pair of eyes. And uh, I started eating a potato. I realized you're on the potato diet too, which no doctor is says, you know what? It might not be cocaine that made her have a seizure. Fight it might be dude. the potato diet that you and Bingo and fucking Shut Shaley the fuck are all- up. Get presto by Pendulette. Uh, uh, I went downstairs and I ate this potato. And I'm like, this is the only food I've eaten in 24 hours. And I'm eating this potato and you're like, I can't do this. I can't. I, I think I'm doing an audible. I'm doing an audible for the show tonight. And I'm like, well, you can. And then you said, Manson. That's what I need. And you, you called him. While you're sitting there, you called him. And you put the phone down. You're like, uh, he's going to be here in 30 minutes. By the way, there's no way he's going to be here in 30 minutes. Is what you said. You followed that up. It will take him two <laughs> hours to get here. He just woke up, whatever, five, six at night. But you talked to him. But I knew, I I thought, you know what? If Manson was here, he's the only person other than Chad Shank that I would feel like I'm not really losing my shit around. But Chad's napping. I ain't going to wake him up. He already did his. (laughs) Fuck Chaley. Fuck Chaley. 
Killian Strangers. <laughs> I had I had dreams of that song the entire time I was sleeping in that rock star fucking room. Then you woke up and I, Marilyn Manson was in I the wake, room. I wake <laughs> and he got there on time. I wake up in the fucking Johnny Depp's fucking guest house in a badass room to Stanhope screaming, killing strangers, and stumble downstairs. And I introduce myself to one guy as I walk in, and then Stanhope goes, "Oh, this is Manson," and I'm like, "Oh fuck, that's Marilyn Manson." <laughs> Like this is crazy as shit. Maybe which is not the most surreal part of this whole fucking <laughs> time that I had. Which sounds really strange that I fucking woke up from a nap at Johnny Depp's house and met Marilyn Manson. That sounds weird. It's uh, it's still daylight out. We're out on the back patio at the pool with the caveman bed, and uh, <laughs> Manson just he just he came right there, which I can't what, thank you. And what did he, he brought Krispy Kreme donuts and fucking? He said, booze. "All right, I'm I'm gonna. Uh, are you hungry? Have you eaten? Uh, I'm gonna bring a vodka, whiskey, something, cocaine, and Krispy Kreme donuts. If you haven't eaten, do you like Krispy Kreme donuts?" <laughs> Yes. Fucking nice so guy. for breakfast, he has a Krispy Kreme donut, breaks out a plate with this giant cartoon. It wasn't a crazy straw. It was straight, but it's still like, like 12 inches long, spirally. It looks <laughs> it was like a plastic. I called it, it a I hard it a, plastic. I called yeah, yeah, it a was clown it? straw. Stanhope called I, it a Beetlejuice okay. straw. It's like a, it looked like a barber pole, but it's fucking <laughs> black and white. It's 18 so, inches long. <laughs> And it's big around as my little finger. Yeah. And he fucking lays down piles of fucking cocaine. I was like, oh, my God. By the, by the way, maybe the, you don't. It might have been stage it, cocaine. It we was, don't know. It was All on right. a rusty fucking outdoor coffee table. Well, the first one was just on the uh, the the railing. A or bench rusty fucking of the outdoor patio coffee furniture. table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I didn't. I did it off a plate. I didn't do oh, it yeah, off yeah. the rusty. He went in and got a I plate. I would have at it, that point. When he was, that was just for him. Yeah. When it was uh, <laughs> presentation for company, he went and got a plate, and uh, he didn't even do Chad, shit. Chad, he was his went, tour manager. I can't do a line that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I looked at Stan open. I said, "You in for half of that?" And I was. It's like fucking ninety dollars worth of fucking. That's not a line. That's a fucking bag. <laughs> that's a bindle. That's yeah. intent to distribute. <laughs> <laughs> I right right after that, whenever I had to go upstairs and fucking take a shit because it was really good cocaine, I fucking took out my phone and wrote a text message with no recipient. I just did blow with Marilyn Manson at Johnny Depp's house and then deleted it to have nobody to send it to. But I felt like I had to tell somebody else. But the, my only friend is fucking still sitting downstairs. So I'm like, I don't know who to tell. He already knows. So. But you have to understand, this is Marilyn Manson at breakfast. <laughs> He's not dressed up in anything dark or weird. He's knock-kneed in an awkwardly tucked-in shirt. Very polite. He's very polite. Sweet guy. Nice yeah. guy. And I, uh, you're, you're the runny. only guy I could think to call and talk to. Uh, and, and then we get to the show. Well, he didn't want to go to the show. No, but he, he didn't want to be in public. Yes. And I had to explain. Uh, I can't explain, but we, the green room, we can get you through where you hey, can hey, hang you out. Were, Chase, Chase and I ended up leaving to go to the, to the show early, which uh, we get down there and... Uh, yeah, everything. It was, I thought it was a Friday night for some reason. <laughs> so I thought there was parking was being crazy or something. And as soon as I get there, they fucking Eric and and Jenny they, and Jody ended up showing up there too. These are all managers. They're like they take care of everything. Like no, 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 no. Park, yeah, tell them to get in there. Everything was fucking stellar. Perfect. And I'm like, oh fuck, it's only Tuesday. No. <laughs> It's like like the original room is open. It's not usually a night, but, but the no. line is down the block, and we needed parking. And then when I called you and said, or I texted Chad, I go, "We're fine. Everything's good. Just just come down." And I, I think that's Worked when you out. realized it was good. By the way, uh, in between this, I can't even explain the shit that's written on the wall beside the refrigerator that's been going on yeah. for a year. But since I left last time, I was there. At Johnny's, he wrote this. St Who wrote? 
Johnny did. Okay. This, and I, we're calling bingo hourly and just saying stuff into her oh, yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. I you, called her up by saying killing strangers into her You called her, her and proposed to her and told her, asked to see if she would nod. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's that was one of the good news things. Oh, she nodded yes and no to a couple questions. So I go, let's see if she says yes or no to, hey, bingo, will you marry me? We're just repeatedly, Manson called and just left them. Uh, I thought that just, was really sweet, they're, actually. Just, they're yeah. putting the phone to her ear. And when Manson called and he's like, you can't s- stick me alone with this guy, you turquoise-headed weirdo. If, if, it's not, if you're not there, I'm alone with this guy, so please wake up. And they said, oh, she uh, squirmed and uh, uh, clenched her fist. And he's like, that was me. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> that was really nice. Yeah. It was. Yeah. And I, I love that you kept doing that because uh, – the fuck what the fuck it, it, well, we, were, we, the, we were we we were not getting a lot of the updates and i even uh even later when i was like really like hey listen this is not gonna get good this because i was not checking my text messages i was too fucked up couldn't. i there were a bunch of updates on her things getting better and better and better and i was like i got in a fucking dark mood well but, we had a plan so it's good you were doing Let's that fake yeah. to, everyone oh, you get yeah. your fake smiles fake. on here we go. Or Fake yelling. it right through to the breakdown and Absolutely. then make the breakdown as fast as possible and get back to faking. Honestly, the only time I knew you were going to actually show up to the comedy store was after Marilyn the Mansi showed up. Your energy changed at that point. Not like fucking hippie energy. You're, you're, you had an elevated sense that, 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 that was going to happen, and that's why I'm like, I'm leaving now because I want to make sure because I didn't know if it was going to happen. No. If, we're you know, going. It's not going to happen. We do this. It was, yeah, it was very good. And Just I, like and I Rogan told, said on, 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 in that original text message before shit really got bad, fuck it, relax, we sit down, yeah, but we get drunk, I smoke pot, we talk. Your whole That's demeanor it. changed, though, after Marilyn got there. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was, but honestly, it Cocaine. changed at that point. Well, Manson's not a guy that I thought that. That was, that. That was, that was it later. Yeah, yeah, no, it was before that. Because that was later. You, you were in a really dark place, and oh. you, I, I'm like, no, we'll cancel. You, you were like, I'm going to do an audible. Yeah, I'll call it. I'll call it in there. Because you were not in the right headspace. Yeah. And then we had a little game plan of how you're going to go out and do it, and then just, just fuck off. You can just leave after you get the ball rolling. And he changed it. And I told him so, and I told the tour manager so. Oh. That, it, that, that, was, that was integral to the whole thing going down. Well, when we, whenever, which is weird that Marilyn Manson is your savior when, <laughs> for the fucking when show. When shit gets weird, you know who to go to. Absolutely, hundred percent. Well, when we got to when we got to the comedy store, and then you get you started introdu- I got introduced to Bill Burr and fucking Joe Rogan again, and just all these guys. And then I saw Stanhope with other comedians and stuff, and then they went out Autopilot. there together. Autopilot. As soon as as you guys were on your way out there, I was like this. Stanhope is in his fucking element now, and then you guys walked out there, and you just hear the fucking crowd go nuts, and I was like, "Yeah, this fucking he had it." No fucking planning on anything. It's like so crazy. I was (laughs) so (gasps) not there, like autopilot. Yeah, yeah. But trying to enjoy that was the best comedy experience ever. To have all those just to start out with Rogan and Burr. Like this is yeah. When you guys great. walked out, the, the video is awesome. Yeah. you guys walk out. I think Rogan's well, the, Rogan is the first person to Kreischer walk out. Came a bit after. No, no, I think. no, no. no, no. The, right that was the together. four. That was, that was the, the four. four of yeah. Them. yeah. And then Fitzsimmons shows up, and he's the uh, the end cap. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah. But like, uh, this is the thing. I tried to have a dialogue right before it started on like how we start this thing. And Rogan's like, we just fucking go. And he yeah. walked out and started the yeah. fucking show. That was the start of the show. Yeah. That guy is a fucking amazing monster yeah. at stuff. He took a break in the middle of the four hour podcast to go to the original to go room. To the original room Burr. And do, uh, you know? Well, Burr, Bill Burr, I only saw leave one time. And that was before Kerry was able to start getting drinks pushed out there to everybody. And he came inside to go to the bathroom and get a drink and went right back out. Otherwise, four, four he was hours. out there for four yeah. hours. The only time Rogan left 
was to go over to the original room and do a fucking 15 minute set of new material. <laughs> Dude, and then I was like, back. what the oh, fuck, the man? Carrie Mitchell beast. goes like, hey, hey Shaley, I gotta run. I'm gonna go check the VIP. Can you just tell Rogan that uh, his set's coming up? I'm like, he knows. What the fuck, right? Like, he doesn't know. And then I'm like being this like, uh, Mr. Rogan. But, <laughs> but at the same time, like, it's time kind of thing. And he goes over there, and then me and Chad are like hanging backstage. I'm like, well, Chad's only been like in like two comedy clubs that you weren't the headliner. Chad, let's go watch Rogan. <laughs> and we fucking we split over there, and we sat in the that back row yep. where the paid regulars sit, yeah. where Mitzi and, used to sit when she was gonna pass you or not. It's mm. of co- there's no one in the back row. Because all the regulars are backstage at that show. But the room is like 75, 80% full. And I'm like, this is fucking great. We sit down and then someone comes up and goes like, uh, I'm sorry, are you paid regulars? And I'm, I, I don't want to. Look, I'll sit. There's open seats. I'll sit. And I'm like, well, we're with this thing over there. And she goes, well, these seats are. And then she's like, ah, fuck it. And just like, <laughs> she'll like sit there. I go, Chad, I'll tell you later what that means. It was, it was very fucking cool. They take such good care of well, us. Well, Chad, Chad went up early. You went on the podcast. Well, oh, well, here's the thing we had no plan. I know that uh, uh, these comics have agreed to do it. I don't know who's showing up when. At this point, I don't give a fuck. My mantra is don't go on tilt on stage. Don't make this about you. That was don't our make game this plan. about bingo. Yeah. You fucking do it or you just get the fuck off stage and put another comic in your place and then you can go in the fucking you know, green well, room we had toilet the, and cry like a cunt. When uh, Whiskey Girl died and then uh, Nowhere Man, you had a moment in West Nyack that you did exactly what you didn't want to do at this show. And we talked about that before. And I think that's awesome because you... Who knew what you were going to fucking do? But I think just verbalizing it, you did not want to do that. And I was looking for that because you, th- that's not what that was about. That, yeah. There was a whole thing. And you, did, you needed to be there for one or two times on stage. You could just fucking leave. But you fucking, you, t- you toughed it out the, but, whole, uh, the whole time. It's good. Chad, get up. And then other people get up. Other people. Hold on a second. Were, uh, you yeah. fucked Chad up. Did he just gloss, so did he just gloss he just over fucking, whole fucking Chad? Thing. Went up. Uh-huh. I had went from from the back room around to the audience side. I yes. was in the front because I wanted to watch all of these guys, and it was everybody was partying in the green room. And you could very early it. on, first first hour, very first 60 early minutes. on. So, and I knew I was like, I'm I'm never gonna fucking go up there. Maybe at the fucking very end, maybe or something. But right now, there's fucking giants on the stage. I want to go around the front and watch it. Remember where you are right now. If you're listening to this eight months or ten years from now, this is the election night of uh, Trump versus Hillary, uh, and we're doing end of a the world live. Podcast. We're calling it the End of the World Podcast, where that's the the catalyst. But we obviously go way. We were going to weave in election, so, but we're going to have all these comics so, on. So stage. on the stage is uh, Greg Fitzsimmons, Stan Hope, uh, Kreischer, Rogan. Bill Burr, Burr Kreischer, that's who's on the stage. So I'm like, I got to fucking go Just look at this. Just to start a four-hour so show. So I'm over there fucking standing in the front part uh, or uh, where the, the entrance to go to You're the You're out audience. in the audience. Yeah, I'm towards the audience. Well, a guy comes over and, and walks up, stands next to me, and he has a little kid. And, and hey, how you doing? And I'm standing there. And at that time, somebody uh oh, uh, Jim Jeffries is here. And somebody announces... Doug. That, yeah, d- somebody tells Doug that Jim Jeffries just got there. So, well, apparently... But, but, but like, Doug's whole thing was, we're going to rotate people in and out, but they yeah. hadn't rotated anyone yet. And we and, don't know who's coming. And someone right. said Jim Jeffries, Jim Jeffries, and you're like, let's get Jim Jeffries up here, not knowing that he's out front watching well, well, the show. Yeah, apparently that's when I realized, he goes, oh shit, they're calling me, and I go, oh, that's Jim Jeffries standing next to me. With a kid. <laughs> yeah. With a three-year-old. So he goes to head up to the thing, and then there was there must have been some discussion about him having his kid before going on stage because in the meantime when he didn't show up you said well let's also get the co-host of my podcast up here i don't know if he'll say anything but i want to get him up here anyway everybody let's bring up chad shank and i'm still in the front like applause fuck huge applause so so i run up there 
thinking I'm going to sit down next to Stan Knock Holt down Jim Jeffries to, and his kid. Boom, <laughs> out of my way, Jim Jeffries and your kid. I go over to the thing to sit down thinking I'm going to sit down next to Stan Hope. Stan Hope hands me the microphone and leaves. So now I'm sitting on the stage with Joe Rogan. Oh, then Jim Jeffries came out. Yeah. So I'm sitting on the stage with Joe Rogan right next to me, Jim Jeffries, Bill Burr, and Burt Kreischer. Not one of these fucking people has any clue who I am. I Kreischer feel like, loves you. Well, okay, okay, Burt Kreischer fucking <laughs> And Joe knows Rogan me. knows who you are. But, but I, I don't fucking belong there. I feel like a Make-A-Wish kid <laughs> sitting there. I'm like, this is fucking, I'm the most out of place I've ever been in my By the way, Chad, the, the results are back. We need to tell you. It was fun. <laughs> I hope you had a good weekend. Good news, I hope. <laughs> it, and then I was backstage, and the, the thing is, you guys were out front, and then there's a curtain, and then there's a backstage area, and then another curtain. So we could hang out, and there's a split in the middle where like people would walk out. Or and we go could, into the green room yeah, where the bar but is. But we could, right. we could you, hang out in the, the shadows the and watch area. the run. Yeah. And I'm, like, I'm taking pictures <laughs> of Chad sitting at the end cap. <laughs> And like he keeps looking back at me, and I'm doing the fucking thumbs up. Like, no, it's good. Keep keep going, dude. Oh, you and kept I, coming back to the green room, going, "He's killing out there." Well, you I said, moments, "What the fuck are you doing it. back here?" And you're like smoking. Like, he's fine. I go, "No, you, the, it's a package deal." Yeah. And you're like, yeah. "He's fine." I go back out there. You're like, Chad, you're doing good. Yeah. You're doing good. No. And then then he started. He said some things. I'm like, "Well, he's not freezing, so it's not weird." No, it's still weird, no, but for, the not, thing it's is, not weird for everyone going like, "How come Chad's not saying anything?" <laughs> yeah. He was saying stuff, and I go, well, "He's he, hanging and banging. He's, he's spot, doing." It. At yeah. least he introed me and said he probably won't say anything. Yeah. So that was a nice intro. So I felt zero obligation to say anything, and uh, I was actually more proud of myself for shutting up because I mean, what do you? What am I going to say when I'm on stage with those guys? Wow, some of those other people could have took that advice. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it got, it, it got weirder <laughs> and weirder. Hey, and everybody who was there, I fucking it was not lost on me that all of the audience fucking yelled as loud for me when I walked out there as they did for anybody that walked out there, and I really that's appreciate awesome. that. That was fucking, and that's amazing. why I took like I, like, I took pictures of you on stage. Like an idiot fucking fanboy from the back of the room going, I don't fucking care. I'm taking this picture because that was pretty awesome, dude. As, it was a live podcast. No, totally. So it's not like, hey, you're fucking gonna, don't tape my new stuff. Yeah, yeah sure. Well, no, Take it, it's weird because I'm usually dressed like an idiot. So, like, I don't need a badge or some kind of VIP <laughs> thing to get anywhere. <laughs> Lanyard. It's part of it. <laughs> but if I'm taking a picture, I'm like, no, I don't want anyone. Because they'll have Follow the flash suit. on, or they'll do some stupid thing, right? But I'm like, I have to, I have to take this picture with you on stage with those oh, guys, man. just to be sitting up there. It's fucking shit. awesome. Yeah, that yeah. was amazing. Like I said, tell, try to get me to pick a surreal moment from the last couple of days, and I can't fucking give you a definitive one. They were all fucking weird. It, it, the 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 whole show went at some point. I don't know. If, someone came up to me and said, "Hey." Russell Simmons is here <laughs> and he wants to go up. This is four hours, maybe longer. It was scheduled for four, maybe a, just bit, went a little, little bit over, over four. Uh, and I and I know who Russell Simmons is, but he's I know a, he's, he's a, a Comedy Central thing. I know he's a producer. I don't know if he's a comic. So I walk out and I go, Rogan, I tap him out of the fucking panel. I go, Listen, Russell Simmons is here and wants to go up, but is that cool? Because I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a LA guy anymore. I don't know what goes on. And he goes, Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. Bring him up. And then I go, oh, Russell. And then I see it's Russell Peters, <laughs> not Russell Simmons at all. I'm like, you don't have to ask about Russell Peters. <laughs> yeah, of course, come on up. <laughs> there were so many people. There were oh people I didn't know. There were people that were weird, but I liked that. There were people like, what the fuck is going on? Now it's getting like serious. Well, it's four hours. Let it get serious, All and right. then we'll bring no, it back. Nobody left. No, no. Uh, what? I was saying, don't, don't mention the people. <laughs> but yeah, there were people that, <laughs> some people are going, what the fuck is going on? But I enjoyed All that. All right. I don't have to say this. <laughs> and I probably shouldn't. 
Well, you're in charge of editing, so say whatever you want. Hang on. I remember at one point, <laughs> Bill Burr saying to me, I said, I shouldn't say this. He goes, I knew said, as soon as you said that, you were going to say it. So now you're going to do the same thing, Jaylee. I went out front. It was, we were three hours in, and uh, I went out front. I'm like, wait, like on the back in the parking lot area, there's always comics hanging out there. And I go back there, and then anyway, I run into a, a friend of ours who's a, a comic. I'll stop there. All right, let's just stop and there. No, and he said, hey, there's Russell Simmons. And I look over and I see Russell Peters. I'm fucked up. So I'm oh, like, so that was you that told me it was Russell Simmons? Allegedly. <laughs> ah. And then I just... I, I just thought you were going to save someone else's honor. You're just protecting yourself. I thought you were going to go... I look I over gonna... and I see Russell... I know who Russell Peters is. I look over, but then when I got back to the stage, I'm like, hey, Doug, did you know Russell Simmons is here? <laughs> And you're like, dude, totally. And you go out there and you do the whole thing you just said. And then he comes up and I'm like, God damn it. I have to tell him too. And I told Russell Peters. That was me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just got, it, it got. Uh... And he was awesome, by the way. Oh, yeah. it, it was not one of those things where like, it was like, what the fuck? It was, like, it was he, he's, come on. He's, yeah. It, it was all great. And to me, the longer it went on, I had to take a second Adderall, which was a bad, well, was good for the show. I did bad too. Bad for 12 hours later when I'm still trying to sleep through a Xanax and my heart pounding is actually lifting me off the bed. You forgot about but, uh, Don't worry. I'm, uh, no, yeah. But the more I was enjoying it, the more I was starting to break down. Because when you're like, this is the greatest show I've ever been part of, and the first thing you want to do is call Bingo oh, and yeah. tell her how bad it was. Yeah. So I'm having to take bathroom breaks <laughs> to go fucking ball my <laughs> eyes out, shake it off, get back out there. And I, I said to you or, no, Jen, I told Jen tonight, it was like, well, when it, the apex of the weird because Bill Burr is actually watching the election results. Oh, uh, we had which, a Surface Pro like in front of him, and he's like he's gauging when things happen. So and he then, is. Bill Burr was the pivot man. Yes, Bill Burr kept yes. that shit together. Oh, man. But Brett Erickson was also gauging it in the back so that we would have updates. So there was a thread of the election all the way through. So, so I am the least of my focus is on the election. I'm like, I don't want, uh, am I letting anyone down? Am I supposed just to be bringing shank. someone else up and I'm not doing the right <laughs> thing? So my head's in bingo and just try to not go on tilt if I'm on stage. So the election is the least. And I remember looking occasionally early to the screen in the green room. And like, every time I look up there, Trump's winning a state, but that, that'll never happen. So... At the end of the show, and I'm fucked now. Now I'm uh, lap dancing Burt Kreischer. Oh, my God. One one of my favorite parts of the entire show, by the way. That picture will be included in the show notes. That is a fucking awesome picture. I have a better, I have the best part of that picture where I cropped all of the context out of it, and it's just Stan Hope going down on Burt Kreischer. You have to tell that story, though. Were you going somewhere? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Go, go, go there, and then he'll tell there that was story. A, uh, there was at one point that there was uh, two people that are getting in a serious political debate, where I, and I said something into my end. Uh, by now, I'm sitting either on Burt Kreischer or very close to on Burt Kreischer. A lot of other comics showed up that didn't bring kids. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. So they were rotating in. Uh, so th- th- this is now we're getting to the end of the show. A million comics have been in yeah, and yeah. out. And uh, there was serious political debate. Be- Initiatives were coming people. up. There was a yeah. huge argument going on. There's, n- there's no laughs going on. No. And Kreischer, of course, as he always does, has torn his shirt off with his <laughs> bloated fucking uh, a beached whale torso. And uh, <laughs> and I said into the mic for whoever's listening to hear, um, as this goes on, if it gets really dead, 
what I'll do is I'll just have homoerotic uh, tongue sex on Bert's chest or something to that effect sure. to get laughs. And th- that happened a lot of times where it's just this uh, angry yelling at each other and then I just lick Bert's tits oh, to no. the point where, no, I, then I had to ramp it up to I'm going down on Bert Kreischer through his jeans and turning him around and spanking him. Well, here's what what I saw was like, but the the argument was heated, so everybody on the stage is Sam, focused. It was Sam, Sam Tripoli, Tripoli and Morgan Murphy. Morgan Murphy, and they're having a debate that's heated, and intense, everybody on the stage intense. is focusing on them, but nobody's chiming in. It's just those two back and forth, and stand up. Whatever you're saying into the into the microphone on the other end. I can't hear behind, so only the audience probably can hear you. Nobody else over here has heard you because there's a huge argument. But they're they're on one side, and Bert Kreischer's sitting on the end of the yes. table on the other yes. side. Yes. So they're and Stanhope just starts doing a, a lap dance, like sit on his lap, bouncing up and down, shirtless Bert Kreischer, just shirtless Bert Kreischer, and then pretty soon he's got his head. You're you're on your knees with your head in his lap, like a fucking stripper. And the whole crowd is erupted. This argument's going on and there's no laughter whatsoever because it's not funny. And while you start doing this, the fucking crowd erupts and nobody on stage notices still that this is happening. There's just still an argument. So I was watching from here as this argument happens and you just keep fucking licking Burt Kreischer's belly and the fucking crowd is going insane. And I'm... I, I don't think anybody else ever noticed it on the stage until they saw the picture. Bert today. Kreischer, by the way, has his hands <laughs> oh. like interlaced behind his oh. head, leaning back, and you are in his crotch. A- and Sam and Morgan Murphy are yelling at each other <laughs> on the other end, and everyone's looking over. I think Bill Burr might be looking at Doug. I, I looked at it, though, but I think he might be looking at Sam. I think that yeah, I think he, right. yeah, I don't think he was. I, nobody caught it. I haven't. I, I've only seen a couple pictures. Oh, fuck! But as it went on and towards the end, everyone's on stage. Even Chad Shank is out there. Everyone's standing. There's like 19 comics on stage that have been part of this, and uh, and I'm just so like overwhelmed that I'm part of this group. Uh, everyone felt that way, and I'm also still. F- the better it is, the more I'm falling apart that I can't tell Bingo that this is happening. You cried in the bathroom, That's dude. what I said to oh, several times. I know. Well, they well, fucking pushed me. Hang on. Let me, I just want to tell you what I told Jen tonight. I said it was like if you won the Academy Award because they call Trump has won at the end. And then there's... Really? Hang on. And other people are on their phones. No, AP just said it too. And the crowd shuts down. And I remember saying, like, it's not our fault. We didn't expect it to end like this either. Uh, But at the same time, everyone's depressed across the country and in the room because Trump really won. I wasn't even thinking about that. What the fuck? I'm... I'm focused on, I'm part of the best show I've been on in 26 years with the best panel of comics. We're having this experience. But my wife, and I said to Jen, it was like if you won the Academy Award on the same night that you lost your wife in (laughs) 9-11, where the country's depressed, not for your wife, but for other reasons, (laughs) but it's still the biggest night of your life when you can't celebrate. <laughs> they have a heavy heart, but they're still laughing. <laughs> well, you Luckily, we were able to sneak into the bathroom together some of the times when you would break down, and it just made it look like we were elite drug users. That's what I so, said. Yeah. I said, hey, come yeah, in here. That's... Come into the bathroom of the green room. Everyone's going to think that we're doing drugs. No, I just... No, we just sat on I the I got to fall God, apart. Damn it. And that's I didn't know that was Troy happening. Troy Conrad yeah. was taking that yeah, group yeah. green room picture. And well, Brian's like, you have to come out here. So I went in the back. I, I, my face is flooded with fucking tears. And no, you have to get to the front. And he shoved me. 
<laughs> Don't touch me. Don't you fucking shove me. Yeah. So that's when, uh, what's, what's his, uh, my, uh, my little gay friend that oh, we met. Anthony, Anthony Decimito. Decimito. Yeah. That's me in the front, flooded with tears, hugging him. And evidently he said on Instagram, which I don't use, he, le- he leaned into my ear and said, uh, you're my favorite faggot. So if I said that, I'll, I'll stand by it. And there's I- other faggots I might like better if you all grilled me in a room. Step up your game, faggots. <laughs> it really took uh, like the last two hours. Troy and I were talking about... This is ridiculous. Like just like the, just to, taking a picture from backstage of like the people that were there, you can tell who they are from the back of their heads. Like who? I mean, that's like what the, everyone coming off stage when you rotated people. I was like, what the fuck is this? This is crazy, right? So then Troy and I started talking about we need a picture at the end of this because yeah. no one thinks of that. Yeah. But Troy is he's he's an awesome photographer. He's got the equipment and Hennigan also. And Hennigan was like part of it, but he wanted to be in the picture. Hennigan was excited to be in the picture. So that was a whole thing. At the end of this whole monstrosity of like just the election and comedy and just just everything that was going on, then it was getting people out. And we haven't said this yet, but even like when I walked in, people noticed me walking in. And then there, there were other people that like they didn't give a shit about anything. They said, how's bingo? How's bingo? Every time I walked through the crowd yeah. to go, like, to do something to the VIP room or, or had to move around, it was always how's bingo. And I'm like, Doug will talk about it. But I, I really appreciate that because at, at some point, uh, we put bingo on a cell phone of one of uh, our friend Kate that was with yes. her in the hospital and put 54 minutes of the towards the end of the podcast. <laughs> In her, in her ear, ear. Yeah. but uh, you did address it like at one point, which is quick. That's I fine think. because you you we had the game plan. You, you're not gonna spin out because that's not what that was about. No, you, but honestly, everyone then, uh, everyone who who no one fucking asked about you idiots. They asked about bingo, and I that really touched me. Uh, and this is the closest I'm coming to crying. And uh, well, you you. you uh, no, was, this is the fu- close. Did, listen, this th- is th- when you come close to crying. At one point, you booked Bill Burr up at Chilkoot Charlie's in the late '90s, early 2000s. He brought it up, and I brought you out to explain how fucked up those band houses were. And you wouldn't fucking say. You walked what out sp- and went, "I'm, I, 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 I'm I not." I said you stay. were right. <laughs> you were 100 percent right. He said, "Nah, nah." Nah, nah, nah. He was misunderstanding yeah. what I was saying. I was talking about the Ralphie May. I was agreeing with and him. I said. Duran would never. You wouldn't would, sit down. Duran would never. T- oh, I'm not sit he's down. not crying. Not now. An idiot like Chad. <laughs> now he's fighting. <laughs> right, Ralphie. At, at least Stanhope was still on stage with you. <laughs> Dur- <laughs> Duran Powell would never say, "Hey, listen, dude, we bought you a hotel, the only hotel we've ever bought for a comic because you're too fucking fat." No, he said, "Hey, we're gonna put you over here." That's what it was. And Bill Burr. Yeah. issues. So I looked it. at the uh, the uh, uh, never mind. Uh, I can't find the big word. <laughs> I loved it though because I was like, Chad. I hope he tells a mildew soap story. Yeah, and then he oh, did. I did. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and Manson was still there. By the way, don't. don't oh fuck! Don't. I fucking tried to call Manson out on stage, and his tour manager went, "No, no, no." And I'm he's like, a real tour manager. Yeah, maybe. Manson's tour manager. Nice yeah. Guy. All right. Oh, yeah. I get a couple of uh, stories. What are we at? Hold like on, a second. hour and a half. You need to say this though, because a lot of people were calling Manson on stage. Doug talked Manson into going there only because Doug said you will not yeah. go on stage. We'll sneak you in. And it we'll- will be. A th- we will get back there because he was there to support you. That was the only re- and I just assume Manson is the guy that He's if not- you no. go to him, he wants to come out and then he'll. Capitalize, and that's what I told the tour manager. Yeah. I'm not using his name on purpose. Don't worry, I talked to Manson but, after the fact. But I told the tour manager, all the comics that keep yelling for Manson to come on stage, comics just assume everyone wants to come. Everyone on stage. wants to be on stage, and they don't know that this is what's going on here. But when the tour manager looked at me, and was like, "He's not going." But now he now he was anytime giving me angry looks. Bert Kreischer the, comes. Bert Kreischer yeah. comes back through the through, to the backstage area and is like, "Man, come on, get out of here!" And like, the tour manager is like looking at the ground. He's not going. Like looking at the ground. Like if I look up, 
I'm gonna kill you. Well, yeah. that was his the, thing. The, he's a pretty scary dude. Yeah. So yeah. when when Stan Up's on stage and he's not Manson, about, the tour manager. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Manson. No. Manson's a sweetheart. Manson, the tour Manson, manager is a Manson's scary tweeting. fucking dude. Jenny could take Manson. So <laughs> Manson is FaceTiming Doug on this, why he can't but, go out. FaceTiming. You didn't even text him. You're well, trying to. I, fake- I, had to, I had to walk back when he said on Facetime. Manson sat through half the show in the back, and my phone's lighting up on the stage when it's we're first starting, and I'm like, "Fuck, it's bingo. It's about bingo." I keep seeing my phone light up, and I want to take it, but I'm not gonna take it because it can't make it about me. And then I find out it's fucking Manson oh, every the whole time. time. The whole I time. forgot about that. He was back there showing me that he was drawing dicks. To send no, he did the, the, the new stage. thing on the iPhone update where you could like draw something in neon but, and yeah, you can yeah. see it being drawn. I go, there's like three balls in that picture. But, what the <laughs> fuck? But you know what balls he's an are? artist. He has an Android, so he can't even FaceTime him or get any of this shit. He just gets nonsense text. But but when it but when you were on stage and you called him up there, at one point you go, I'll have fucking Chad Jack, Shank bring Jack. you over here and. Me, assuming that you had already agreed that cleared he would it. go, that cleared it, I'm like, hey, you're ready to go. And his manager just looks at me and goes, no. And I was like, uh, that's that's gotcha. what I knew. It was a no. It's, it was a solid. no. It was a, a solid no while shaking the head. Yeah. And like that, no, I, that's serious. He was, he was in a squat, like with his hands on his knees because Manson was sitting down yeah. and listening to the thing. And he looked at me and goes, no. And it was intimidating as fuck. I'm like, if there's a dude squatting down saying that no was, and it's That was the move. I got it. That was the move. Me and him, we're right here. <laughs> if you want to come closer, <laughs> then you're dealing with me. Yeah. And, yeah. Then that, Chad, sure. and, Chad, and that's when I tapped you and I go, we're done. done. We're done. We're Chad, done. Chad. Held his shit together this whole tour. I never even had to worry about Chad, which is weird. Chad was awesome for a three day. Yeah, he carried go, this. Well, I was worried like, about you, so well, I didn't have to. I didn't have time to worry right. about me. Everyone listening, and I knew that. Everyone <laughs> listening, if Doug Stanhope called you on stage to sit next to Rogan, Bill Burr, Burt Kreischer, Jim Jeffries, would you? Would you even? You would sit there and go, I don't know what he's talking about. You, that's not me. You wouldn't fucking go up. It, it, that All is right. a big thing for Chad because honestly, he's still I'm he too had, dumb. I'm too dumb to know that. I just went right he, up. But we had reservations about like, well, what's gonna happen? I go, he's gonna he's gonna Doug's gonna bring you up on stage. We were fucked up, and I go, he's bringing you up on stage at least one point. Yeah, I figured at the end of the yeah. night, whenever there was nobody else had anything to say, not nope. in the very fucking beginning <laughs> when there's the biggest heavyweights of comedy on stage and then abandoned me by and then myself. He leaves. Yeah, He's fun. Great. It was so great. Thank you, Stano. Let's let's. Uh, He's progressing. This is, this is moving on. So we got through the night. We did a lot of fist bumping. We did it. It took. All day or two days, we're going to get this done. We're going to put on our fucking dumb comedy faces. We got through it. No one fucked up. There was no embarrassment. Let's get the hell out of here. Get back to the uh, house. I, I got some notes. I don't Are you know. going to Tucson? Is that where you're going with it? Well, first it was LAX. <laughs> it was LAX at first. <laughs> Nothing. But afterwards, we were we, we were we, safe oh, back at the house. Oh shit! I forgot all about LAX when Stanhope was on the phone That's, with credit got, card people. I got that note. Okay. I'm just seeing if, if, if we get back to the house. Nothing weird happened. I think Sam showed up. No. Morgan. Morgan, Morgan showed, showed up. up. Yep. No one else. Mitchell's, Bretchel's. Yep. Slept outside, which was just like sleeping outside. Every time we think about sleeping outside on the deck when it's warm enough at night, you go, oh, but the sun will wake you up. Yeah. So, yeah, me and uh, Mitchell. No, no, you and uh, Morgan? Morgan and Mitchell slept in the caveman bed by the pool, and then Brett Erickson tried to sleep on the wooden bench. (laughs) (laughs) Then at some point realized. punishment? (laughs) Well, then he realized there's a couch open. You get the Deadwood couch. <laughs> anyway, we get out. <laughs> we we get the couch. fuck out of there. We get to LAX. Can't get into the Sky Club with four of us, so we just uh, get some tacos and some cocktails. And that's actually good though. That yeah, that concourse. Stop yeah. with the plugs Sorry. at some point. 
I'm drinking too many doubles. My credit card shuts me off again. It's the only credit card I think I know I have. So I start a you loud... Because you found him. Yeah, yeah. But I start a loud, angry conversation as we're waiting to board. A loud, angry, my... hilarious conversation. If you know the backstory, well, but if us, you're just some you, person who's going, it's a Trump's America, this might be a white terrorist because I'm going apoplectic. White terrorist? Well, no, I get it. We call them wearerists. <laughs> wearerists. Whatever it is, Wire-ist? I'm just going batshit on my credit card company for shutting down for fraud alert that they never alert you. They just let your card not work. And as far as I know, this is the only card I have left. I still think I lost all my other cards that are in my pocket. I just checked all my pockets the wrong way, evidently. So I'm (laughs) yelling at my credit card company, I'll save you the details, but they cancel it all the time for a specific dumb reason that you'd think they'd take notes, but they don't alert you that your card shut off and I'm screaming and this nice uh, woman of color that's the uh, Delta security comes up ha huh? uh, as I'm boarding. as we're boarding yeah they called our I got yeah. bumped up and uh, she goes oh are you Mr. Stanhope uh, listen uh, and at that point I thinking it's a uh, listen when diamond Medallion people are in line. We greet them on the plane. Wait, That's what let I me back up because I made a joke earlier on Twitter that day <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. that oh, yeah. nobody got oh, yeah. where I said, Hey, Delta, do you still give breaks to people who have family emergencies? Because my wife had a stroke and I don't want to fly back to have to deal with that. <laughs> Meaning, I want to break... Change my flight from not today. go home. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, Delta, you got to do this for him. Like, You're not getting the joke. So I But you also walked up to the desk, and you complained about babies. So that's when... Well, the- hang on. Because I don't remember oh, that's this. That's when it got I flat because I saw him pointing I at you. I thought, because Delta <laughs> tweeted back at me, hey, what? what flight are you trying to change? And I Multiple go, times. oh, it's, oh you, I was just making a joke, but it's not your job to understand Gallo's humor. Well, we hope your Gallop pal gets better. Thank you for your loyalty. So Delta's like tweeting me like they're, they're cognizant. They're not just you know, a blanket statement. You're red flag? Is that what you're saying? I thought she was coming up to say sorry about yes. your gal pal because we had had this Twitter conversation. What did I do with babies? There, uh, there was a baby like crying, and at one point the the mother like hit the kid in the this. face. Well, that's well, why the baby the was face. crying. Yeah. And then you went up as you're on the the, fi- the phone with the uh, the credit card people. You are like, I guess you're on some kind of hold, and then you started saying something to the gate agent, like the at the ticket ticket counter and then you came back and then i saw the ticket counter that you were talking to with not the, at security with the gal that we thought was a delta representative wearing the red jacket yeah. point at us <laughs> like that's the guy and that's when everything started happening because i thought it was a delta representative saying thank you for flying delta she says um uh, hey uh Listen, uh, a lot of people are, are you okay? A lot of people are concerned about There's flying some concern with you. about you getting on this flight. Yes. I believe that the woman of color is necessary to this story because I smiled and I thought she was welcoming me too. And she goes, some people are concerned about you. And I go, oh no, I was, with a smile, I said, Oh no, I was just yelling at my credit card company and she went, Oh, come on board. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought she's just I thought she was concerned that you didn't have enough leg room. <laughs> <laughs> that you should be on a later flight. <laughs> I think she, I did get, she spun. Oh wait, did so I quick. get did that? No. Oh, oh shit. shit. Face yeah. mask. Yeah, I got bumped up to first class yet again. I bumped Chad up to first Hold class on. on that flight, but he bumped me back up to first class. But then 
I got I bumped myself out because that weird chick. We noticed a gal who was in first class, so she was going to go early. And this no, is we what, noticed her at the hold bar. On. I yeah. I knew there was a problem when they started boarding and they do the fucking babies and the family thing first, which is wrong. And then all of a sudden, she knew. She'll know. It will look like what you wear on your motorcycle. Uh, yeah. So so uh, when she walked up, I was like, well, she doesn't have a baby. But she's doing like these like like stretches. Young blonde girl with twenty ish uh, with a face mask. Like like a a black motorcycle looking like, face like mask. That's what I thought of too. Was the, the thing I wore yeah, when yeah. I rode. But it has a happy face on it. Yeah. But she's doing like these, these stretches, like I'm gonna be sitting for an hour. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stretch my calf muscles. She's doing that. I'm like, what the fuck? It's everyone hour already, 30 minute flight. Everyone notices you now. Because you got this creepy mask on, but you have to go like... It's a face mask that goes from under the eyes down over nah, the chin it, it, like bikers rough, wear with a skull. What? No, no it, was a, it, was a, it was a thing yeah. like a medical thing. Right. It wasn't like a yeah. wraparound neoprene. It, it just looped over the ears and it went around yes. like a regular looking medical thing, except it was black with a big happy face on it. Like you're trying to draw And then she basically did jumping yeah. jacks before she fucking went on the plane. See, I missed all that. I, I, don't want, I hate to admit as security... That I missed all of the fucking <laughs> finger pointing and the fucking Stanhope is being a fucking security threat. I, I missed all of that. So I'm watching that. And then she boards and we board right behind her. And Tracy and I, Tracy, I'm in front and I turn the corner into the plane. And I look and I'm like, God damn it. I hope Doug sits next that's to her. Him, that's Sitting his right spot. next to her in f- small and first fucking class. Plop down right next to her. I'm like, this is awesome. I, I go back to my seat, which is just with us. Uh, we're again. at the bulkhead again. Like I'm a, I'm a, well, I'm, I'm a row behind and on the other side of you guys. But we're at the bulkhead again. Yep. Yeah. But. I have a guy my exact same size shows up to sit in the seat next to me. So he's like, mm, "Your aisle." And sorry, he's yeah, I'm in the <laughs> aisle, and I'm like, he's like, "Sorry." I usually for smaller people, you can kind of move to the side. I had to get all the way out of my seat, and move into the aisle, so he could sit down. So him and I are both trying to, but I'm thinking at least he's as aware of it as I am, and like neither of us. Gonna and there was be a, a dick. there was a tip so of the I'm, hat, a tip of the hat. Yeah, well, like, and, uh, I, and uh, I, we're I, in this together. I, I actually, I actually looked at him and I go. At least it's a short flight, huh? So we sit there for a little while, and as the plane fills up, I realize that the seats in front of me, which is the emergency row where you have fuckloads of leg room, more than first class. Next is, to Tracy and I. Uh, right next to these guys is completely open. So Shaylee and I are making eye contact, and I'm like, yeah, as soon as this fucking, as soon as I'm sure nobody's coming up. And Pla- then- plane tip, by the way, don't ever move seats until they close the door. Because then you you could be that guy who has to get... Here's the thing that I started to get worried about was somebody else is going to see the same opportunity I am and jump in there before I can. So I'm doing it now and fucking I'll talk my way out of it. So I jumped up into the fucking seat where I could now see two seats in front of me is Stanhope sitting next to the masked girl, which I then start to hear conversation. We could see the whole time from where we were. We could see the whole time she had her mask on. And then I see Doug's head starting to bob that Lean way. Lean in to talk. Oh, no. I know you're talking. Yeah. You're, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they're serving drinks. And she orders a drink. I'm like, oh, this would be interesting. Yeah. Does she poke it through she the mask? She got a vodka drink, too. Yep. But, she, but like, what's she going to do? Oh, I remember because when we both got vodka drinks. That's why I'm talking. I, I, so you remember. I, I, pull, I, pull, I pulled my mini bottles out of my pockets. I go, would you like to make it a double for nothing more? <laughs> <laughs> she declined. Uh, oh, wow. Surprising. Wow. I, I, at one point, because Chaley could see better, but I was like, who is Stan I'm talking to? Because I, you are not really in a condition to be talking to people was why I was curious. And oh, then, oh, oh. Or was he in the perfect condition well, to talk to a woman well, in a mask? Well, you ever talk to me at 8 a.m.? Well, it depends on your <laughs> nope. angle. I mean, to me, it's hilarious. No, I, Tracy and I are both like, this is going to get good. Well, and then Shaley <laughs> reassures me, and he goes, no, she's got her mask dropped, and they're talking. And I was like, I feel you updates, because, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I can't see. So it didn't last very long. Did we even take off yet? No. No, 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 no. No, because no. I brought my cocktail back. Yeah, we uh, hadn't even... I'll, get ahead, I'll not okay, get ahead okay, of myself. Okay, okay. No, go ahead. Uh, 
We hadn't even taken off yet. We're just sitting there. And all of a sudden, Stanhope turns around and walks back and goes. Wait, I made. Th- I, I, I remember I, I, I made. Three. Th- I said, have you ever had someone close to you die? You're saying this to the mask Something girl. to that effect. And she goes, what? I go, well, it's a way better way to start a sh- airplane conversation than well, it's crazy weather, and what about Trump? What are you, where are you, you going? going? Where are you going? Yeah. What, what do you do? Yeah. And that, that was my third, like, stupid... My th- the second... And then the third one was... Uh, God damn it, I just remembered it. Ronda early. Rousey. Oh, oh I go, fuck. I go, oh, fuck. fuck. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, she's a, 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 a short blonde chick with... A, a mask. A mask. But either way, I said... Uh, how often do you get? You look like Ronda Rousey if she weren't so thick. Before you realize that's a compliment, and she went, "That's offensive." Which no, <laughs> Ronda Rousey would look more attractive if she was less thick, like this girl. There's a compliment to her. I let the best. But I part- know. I I and she goes, "That's offensive." I go, "All right, I'm gonna switch out seats." <laughs> the best part of that. Was how often? Because <laughs> you just assumed it happens all the time. <laughs> that was the worst part of that. I, I was, that's why I don't. That's why I have a fence and no friends. I was, no, that's why you sit next to me and have an eye mask. And I go, no, I think he died. <laughs> we'll just push through. The so I just came back immediately to Chad Shank because he makes everything good. If if that's his position. <laughs> We'll see. Security Stan- and make everything good. Stan- Stanhope said, I'm trying to remember exactly what you said, but I think you said, uh, um, I've already said too much, and I know that I can't shut up, so switch seats with me. Yeah, you tapped him out, <laughs> yeah. like, in, like in WWE. You tapped so him out. I, so I walked up to the thing, and I sat down, and I was like, well, now I'm in credit, because I, I, I couldn't hear any of the conversation. And By the way, you the didn't skip happened. a beat. You got right up and said, like, I'm in. Oh, I was, I'm in. I was expecting it. I already, I was, when I was like, who's he talking to? <laughs> so I was more trying to make sure we get thrown off the plane than he was offending fucking people. Finally, you have one job. <laughs> so, I, so, so I try to sit down and make light a little bit to try to, because I want to talk to her and find out what the fuck you said. Because I don't want to wait to ask you what you said. I want to ask her what you said. So I sit down and I was like, "Uh, I've been sent to apologize for my friend. (laughs) Trying to make her laugh. And she was like, all right, I accept your apology. And I was like, oh, fuck. (laughs) How do you gauge a laugh through a mask? Well, she didn't have the mask on, which confused me as well. Which is fucking totally ridiculous. The only time you need a mask is when you're on the plane, not when you're waiting to get on the plane. She at no point. As chaotic as my life is, was her mask wearing schedule during this whole flight. She would take it off and put it on. At one point, I wanted to ask her, are you nervous about me or should I be afraid of you? I don't know what the fuck the purpose of your mask is. At that place, at that point, where I, I can't gauge. Usually you can gauge when you're too fucked or they're too fucked and... <laughs> That's why I bailed out. Like I, I I'll, no, no, you did I'll right. overcompensate to try to make this right, uh, or I could just go tap Chad Shank into the seat because <laughs> I know, dude. I, I've I don't, seen I know I've nothing. seen you do like these crazy offensive things that make you giggle, or you're, like you just keep plowing through, and like it ends up that like the stewardesses come back and give you free more free drinks. <laughs> and it's like this is clearly the problem is the alcohol. He was on this plane. Too drunk to sit in a seat. And then he kept saying things. Am I sitting things. wrong? And then he's like, Ugh, and it's like, does he want another one? Yeah, put one in front of him. I mean, that was, I've seen that so many times. But when you tapped out, perfect timing, because this is a better story. The fact that you went up there, because all Tracy and I wanted to find out, why the fuck you wearing a mask? Why the fuck you wearing a mask? If, and if, you, you didn't if help, we had by the way. <laughs> thrown off of the, that plane me for any reason credit card yelling that lady i was yeah. trying to be funny with my jokes aren't working i don't know my audience and i'm but i'm not crying 
I'm not crying. <laughs> we got home. We get back to. Hold on. Why was she wearing a mask? I did not Thailand. talk to the woman. It's a boring story. I know the story is boring. Oh, okay. why well, did you do 20 hours from Thailand? A thing. I'm addicted to it the same way I am an eye mask, but your story doesn't make sense. It doesn't All matter. Right. I didn't I, know how back. I got that. We get back I, to Tucson. Yeah, yeah, I didn't bother asking. I'm not dumb, so I know that I cannot follow Stanhope. So I just stayed quiet through the whole fucking thing. I'm like, I'm not talking to this broad. We're thrown off the So plane. we get to Tucson. Get it's home. early enough. It's, it's not late. Yeah, 7.30, yeah. but we know at this point there's no way we're driving an hour and 50 minutes back to fucking Bisbee in the dark after this chaos, even if you were sober. No, we're staying. We've got a couple it's None of rooms. us were sober. Tucson well, Airport. I was, I got to tell you right now, I was going to take the bullet, so I, I, I held back. I could have driven, but it was way better idea to just stay. I don't... Fucking Dale Earnhardt, fucking the third. I wouldn't let drive. It's just a better I, idea. In dark, yeah. It's automatic. It's it, there's not even a question now. Tucson it's after Airport. There are nine hotels that you can walk to closer than you could get to your next gate at Phoenix Airport. So we get a hotel we don't normally go to, but we've been there before. Have a couple cocktails to chill out, take a downer, we'll get up in the morning, go see Bingo. That's the plan. So we have a cocktail. Let me back up quickly. During the uh, uh, End of the World podcast in uh, uh, L.A., they passed recreational marijuana bill passes so California. they're all smoking weed on stage. Well, we try to recreate this in the only state that didn't pass the bill, Arizona. Really? So we meet these uh, just hilarious, beautiful uh, black women, a couple. It was a, 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 a niece aunt and, and a aunt. niece. Yeah. At last call. At last call at this hotel, smoking outside the bar in the patio area. And... I'm so used to it from the the podcast that I didn't even think it's illegal. You're missing a big part. Go ahead. That's why you have to. Chad <coughs> had weed. Well, that whenever and you, and you asked. Well, I needed weed. I needed weed the whole time, so Stanhope arranged it so that I would have weed when we got to Tucson. So I got weed when we got to Tucson, but I have have you have a medical card. I I have a medical card. I love how you say I arranged it. I know. Call someone. Hang on. So I had a. I don't want to be specific, but (laughs) a friend made me sound more. uh, Well, well, that's what I was supposed to do. A friend brought me weed uh, in when we when we got to Tucson, but I had no means of smoking the weed, and I was already fucking drunk and arrogant. I took another Adderall uh, before (laughs) we left. Oh, yeah. To uh, make you less arrogant? <laughs> no, I didn't. Get, took the wrong pill. No, no, no. I took it so that I would not be hung over because we started doing shots <clears throat> at fucking 10 a.m. when I woke up before we got on the airplane oh. in the kitchen at Johnny Depp's yeah. house. So I took an Adderall so that I could stay awake through the whole fucking day. And uh, so I was, anyways, I was really obnoxious. So when we went inside the lobby... I was asking for a soda machine. Is there a, a soda machine? I'm like, well, no, we have bottles of soda. Because then I was like, well, let's just get you a, a soda can and we'll just make a cheap pipe like that. Well, nobody has. I never said that. You came up with that on your own. Um, I, don't I, just, I don't remember. I just but knew what you were asking before. Was, so, anyway. so then it progresses some. I, where do I find rolling papers? I'm not trying to be subtle in any way. I was asking blatantly. We go to the bar. Stanhope asked the bartender to go ask the kitchen staff. Always ask the kitchen. He, Don't ask the bartender. Ask go, the kitchen. They'll have rolling papers. Can or you go see if the kitchen staff has uh, rolling papers or a pipe? And I'm like, not, not a pipe. Not a pipe. I don't want to fucking borrow somebody's pipe. It's like rolling papers. That could be for cigarettes. Right? But nobody has anything. And uh, when we walked back out, you, got, you and Tracy went outside. Chaley and I were finishing drinks inside. And uh, you guys went outside and started talking to the two ladies that we had met earlier that were fucking like, were funny and nice. Just small smoking area. Oh. Yeah. 
started talking. So we went outside, and then uh, I think I asked them if they had rolling papers. And she said, I can, you know, get a swisher sweet and uh, roll a blunt. You know how to do that. And I was like, no, I don't fucking know how to do that. But, uh, you know, she brought it out. And, and she was immediately like, we're going to do this right here? And I was like, yeah, I do this out in the open all the fucking time. And then she was like, well, you, you realize that's because you're white, right? <laughs> I said... We had an open dialogue I, about race. I was, I said, I was like, that's, mm. you're absolutely fucking right. I did not even think about that. So she was nervous about smoking weed right there. Anyway, you had a card and you told her. But I have a card yeah, yeah. and well, I, had a, I have a card and white privilege. So, I mean, I'm covered pretty much. That was a, that was a topic. That came I up. said, yeah. I, I, I extend my, my white privilege out to you. And uh, we joked about it. The umbrella. So, the so. umbrella, <laughs> uh, white privilege coverage. And it was all funny and a joke. We, we had the best conversation, and then the uh, uh, driver slash security guard slash overnight man slash highway man that we've met a couple times when we <laughs> he knew us. Stay, we were regulars, but he didn't know us then because he comes over. I can call the cops. You can't do this. You fuck you. Fuck you. He didn't say fuck you. No, he, but he wouldn't let me get a word in because he was just like, you can smell that. You can smell that inside. We know what that is. All right, hold I on. Call hold, I'm going to stop this right now. He walked out because the whole staff was inside. The bar was closed. They're mopping up, and we're on the patio. We're being fucking loud. Mm. Yeah, we're being that, very that fucking was, loud. That was our big hold on, problem. Hold on. And then when he came out, this was a guy that knew us, and he said, you know, they can smell that in there. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. He uh, wasn't do that we need to temperate? No, he was no, he was agitated. He was, he was Kurt. He was agitated. And I know why later, but he was Kurt. Like people what? put him up to like, are you going to do something? So he came out and he was being kind of a dick. And then he says, I could call the cops. And Chad is trying to talk to him. I'm like, this is not the time. Civil tones. Chad's like, wait, what? Hold on. Diplomat. Diplomat. And Chad so goes. Are you calling the cops or could you call the cops? Because that was brilliant. No. Yeah. And he goes, I could call the cops and started to walk away, which I thought was like, you need to end this. There has to be a he period at the end of. He uh, dismissed yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And that's when I told you, stop. And we'll, then, we'll figure this I out. Was, and then yeah, the two black to, gals. I was trying to follow him at that point because I wasn't clear if he was going to call the cops. No. And if he's going to call the cops, I would I shut just it down. Him. I shut it down because we could just leave. But the black girls. Fled immediately. Yeah. The, the 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 fucking white privilege joke of five minutes earlier became not, not funny a joke at that all, ain't a and joke. it was fucked. That's you. real for and them. It was fucked up because these were some of the nicest fucking people. I met a lot of nice yeah. people, and these were some and of the nicest people I met. And they had nothing to do with nothing. anything other than I have a way to roll this thing. I, I by the way, solicited it. By and, the way, and I was the loud. Tightest motherfucking. Oh my god! She did this thing that looked oh. like a cigarette from a oh. machine in North Carolina. It was fucking I was fantastic. I remember it on the drive home because uh, this is a hotel we might you know, go back to on the road. You know how I am. Where if I can find a flaw in your corporate oh, system, I will not pay for those hotels. That's and I had my plan. Oh no, that fucking guy that was yelling at us couldn't understand because of his accent from his let's say Albania uh, Mongolian <laughs> we'll just uh, obfuscate his uh, who, where we were Syria let's blame it on I them. was saying is the bar closed or he was saying the bar is closed I was saying no it's a clove I could have got up fired <laughs> But we were, he's, we were he's back. a friend. All right, let's. let's we were back in the room at this point. Yeah, let's fast forward to everyone runs back, black and white runs back to their room to get away from possibly cops. Some of us faster than others. I tried to follow the guy to make sure we were all right. Shaley wisely but you stopped did. me. But well, you did eventually because well, we've we... been with this guy before, and now we realize we don't have mixers. So you go, this guy's driven me. Before when we stayed to the at Walmart, this... yeah, we, he's driven me around a few times to go get things. Yeah, we you, know, we you know. also had a joint behind your ear, which 
I, I, so I, I caught bet it. you a hundred bucks you couldn't get the guy that just threatened to call the cops without closure to give you a ride to go get his mixers. And which uh, I, which I still I owe you was 20 because I, I only had a, 80 on me. I thought it was a fantastic challenge because I tried to chase him down minutes before and Chaley stopped me. So I'm like, now I have permission. I'm going to let's go fix this one way or the other because the guy's either going to be nice or he's going to fucking continue to be a dick. Call the cops. And you call the cops whenever we're fu- you giving me a ride to the fucking Walmart. There ain't no, there's a lot of fucking desert out there. You can't find somebody out there. So... <laughs> <laughs> so you found him so but i'm a diplomat so immediately we go down well i went down and i first thing i saw was him talking with security still animated when i went and i was like oh fuck um where well, i don't know oh so I, I, I walked back and I'm like, all right, I'm going to give him a minute because he's fucking talking animatedly to security and it might be about us or it might be about something else. So we'll wait a minute. So you pulled back. So I pulled back for a minute and then I went back down and uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't there. So I just fucking doubled down and I just fucking went and talked straight to security. <laughs> and said, I need you guys to call uh, Hasim and tell him that I need a fucking ride to Walmart. Not and, uh, a real name. <laughs> It's like the book. So his real name's Abba. So I, I, I said Rick. You went with Hasim. Well, because you, you guys said Syria. I don't know names from oh, Syria. Sy- oh, fuck. fuck, he's so good. Oh, oh. No, no. <laughs> he's, he's so good. But anyone who's yeah. doing like serious logistical, oh, Abba. <laughs> but uh, they don't have a hit song called Hasim. Doug, they already know. They I don't. figured. I, I figured that if he if he was talking to the security guard about us, yeah, then the security guard would you know deal with that. Time. So I just went straight to the security guard, and then once he did, deal, I knew I was like, I already won this fucking bet because I can. If the security guards, he, I mean, he shr- I, all the way I, to Walmart. He I shrinked. Fucking, I, sh- I shrinked the security guard down. There's no way the fuck I can't shrink Hasim down in the fucking shuttle van. Now Chad <laughs> is running the hotel. <laughs> I'm not point. sure if I was still wearing my Superman cape at this you were. point. I remember. Oh, oh Chad, <laughs> after, if you want to back uh, up, yeah, after yeah, 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 yeah. I switched seats with Chad with the girl with the face mask, he's in first class where you get that beautiful uh, threadbare uh, rug for a blanket. I get off Bright the red. plane. <laughs> Yeah, you get a little Doug, blanket. You have like 10 of them in the crawl space. So, <laughs> yeah. Don't, so don't, Chad's like, wearing him. his as a Superman cape. <laughs> You're beautiful. Him. Oh, I thought he was sober, but evidently <laughs> not so much. So he's. And it's it so windy. He looks striking. Like you guys are walking. It's blowing, and it's like blowing in the blowing wind. behind him like he's flying almost. It's fucking amazing. I'll put a picture in the thing because I got to. Uh, you guys standing in the baggage This claim. morning, Jenny comes in the middle of the night, his wife. And he's trying to recreate his Superman cape of a Delta blanket. From the night before. Yeah. But it's very windy. He goes, don't worry, it'll look like I'm blowing in the wind, (laughs) even though there's no way I can at my weight. (laughs) And I looked as you left. You go, we'll uh, we'll meet you back. And I looked in the wind. It was blowing. (laughs) (laughs) Until it caught on the rail and fucking clotheslined me. I missed that. Jenny's like trying to tuck it in. He's like, how did I fucking do this drunk? Oh, yeah, by I myself. Can't, I can't do it. He's trying to tuck a t-shirt. Yeah. Like he's trying to tuck he did it on the plane. He's trying to tuck a blanket into a t-shirt. He's like, how come I don't know? It's like he's trying to make a cabinet from IKEA. How come I What the fuck? I'm chasing myself in to, circles. It's like a he dog said, chasing dog. his tail. He said to Jenny this morning, he goes, I did this perfectly drunk, and she says well, you can do a lot of things drunk that you can't do. You do it all so the time. Bad. You can't do you can't recreate the magic. So sorry, I, sorry, no, Jenny. Okay. No, I think we fucking went off the topic. I think about the, All right. Oh, uh that was whenever uh the you guy went down pulled to up. Talk to yeah, the, the guy well, I already did that and then the guy pulls up in the the uh shuttle. Shuttle and I'm leaning against the pillar waiting for him. Oh, like James Dean. Yeah, like like fucking Look at you, the wild yeah. ones. So as he gets up, <laughs> he, he pulls up, and again, I know him enough that he knows he knows me, and I know, which is why I was pissed when he fucking dismissed me 
earlier and wouldn't talk to me. So here's a score to settle. Going. So as soon as he walk, he walk, he starts to walk up to me, and he was like, "Hey, listen, hey, listen. About earlier, I apologize. I went, and he immediately, with his ass puckered, starts trying to apologize to me earlier. And I said, uh, "I wish I could say his fucking name because it's so much better Abba. than the story." But I said, uh, "I just, I said, get in the van, Abba." And he keeps trying to apologize to me, and I got in the van and shut the door. Now he's standing at my window trying to still talk to me and apologize. He, he's at the passenger he's side? He's at the passenger door trying while i Trying to talk I'm, to you. He, I ignored him as he talked to me on You're the way to the van. Like a I, just, maniac. I said, get in the van, Abba. And I got in the van and shut the door, and then he came around and shut the door, and I just repeated. I said, just get in the van, and we'll talk. So he's fucking nervous as shit already, because there's a lot of Chad, desert between I, where we were at Walmart. Doug and I were talking. The whole time, because that's before he passed out. Yeah. We were talking, I'm like, I can't fucking believe the balls of this motherfucker. He's going down there and he's saying, like, he is going to, like, convince them or someone's going to jail. I, I, I really thought. And then when he kept coming, the updates, it's like, wait a minute. How is this working? <laughs> how how is Chad going down there and like coming up and go like, no, we'll get it, we'll get it. I'm like, I just talked to security. I just got to wait. You should for come Abba up and go like, hey, show. dudes, I think we're gonna get kicked out of yeah. this place. But, I mean, that was, but he he was testing you. Well, on okay, your here's the thing. No, no, okay. Here's that's that's this what is happened. the ride to yep. the to yeah. get so, the to so get the I, to get cranberry juice, cranberry juice and vodka, and soda, hundred dollar bet. This is yeah. a fucking I gen- still owe you twenty. Just very generous, fucking. Goof when we're drunk is really all worth of us, so every I appreciate penny. it. Worth but every penny. <laughs> so uh he 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 does then. He just gets fucking quiet and shuts up and goes and gets in the van. And then since I was intimidating, I switched fucking gears right away. For one, because I'm a diplomat and also so he fucking thinks I'm a psychopath, which I am. So I he gets in and I apologize. I said, we kind of go hand in hand. I just want to tell you. We stay we there, though. Driving, and I, that's said, a, that, yeah. I said, I just wanted to apologize earlier. I says, uh, entirely my fault. I was indeed smoking weed out there on the patio, and I was really loud. I'm drunk, and I apologize. So I just wanted to tell you that. And he's like, no, no, no. And I says, but you were fucking out of line. Do you understand what I'm telling you, Abba? Because you <laughs> fucking completely ignored me. And you didn't, you know, you didn't talk to me. And he immediately tried to to test my. Wait, it might have been before that because I didn't say after I apologized. That was what it was. I apologized and said we're out of line. And he immediately, no, no, no. I know it wasn't you, is what he said. Uh, when it was a hundred percent, it was a hundred percent me. And I just said it was. And he goes, no, no. I know it wasn't you because. I had just walked by you, and it was just those two ladies outside. You guys weren't even out there yet. I know that you had only been out there for a minute. Untrue. All of it was me. Those ladies had been out there the whole evening, and they were quiet we, as we shit. We walked in. We walked in, and they were I probably out there. crashed their party. You did, but yeah. they totally were, did. But they were nice to us as we walked in. You know, we had banter back and forth. We made them laugh. They made us laugh. So we had already established the thing before. They we had went established inside. something to the effect that when I walked out, they're like, ah, "I want to meet that guy." Yeah, they're like because of my crazy hair, hair. or something. Yeah. And so there was an, a, enough of a conversation <laughs> that it got so boring that you talked about my hair. <laughs> so, but he says. So the guy immediately Abba. tries to fucking pin it on these other two ladies, which then pissed me off. And that's whenever I fucking was like, no, you are fucking out of line. This is, a, you know, this is not how it works. And he still kissing my ass because we're driving through the desert. <laughs> and uh, I forgot a lot of the story, I think. No, no, he was like, blaming you went, you went the to black ladies. We went to, we went to Walmart. Yeah, oh, no, no, that was they it. Were, they, it was the black ladies. No, who no. Hot. It was. You don't remember? No. <laughs> he tried to he tried to feel out your racism. Yeah, that that because by saying yeah, it was them. They were out there for a long time before you. I know that it wasn't you. You guys were only out there for a minute. It was those ladies that were out there. Then this other story about the other fairs that he had. Yeah. Then he started trying to play the race card because he, you know just because I'm. Uh, a uh, Syrian earlier because when I didn't bite on the fucking race thing and I was still Chad held dick. up his hands and made quote marks behind Latin Syrian. America works for a whole bunch I, of I fucking was, uh, countries. Uh, we went into the uh, 
the Walmart and got stuff, and then we come out, and he started, and then he knew, by then he knew I was fucking burnt out at him, and that I was not a racist, even though I might look like one, so he fucking played the wrong card on me, and started trying to tell me, how, well, I took a fare earlier, and uh, to the casino, and they just, uh, they try to tell me, because you're uh, Syrian? Syrian, you can get us cocaine, and I was trying to tell him, I can't, I can't get you cocaine, you know, just because I'm serious. You're going to have to walk back from your fare because I'm not. And I was like, so now you're fucking denouncing racism when you fucking clearly earlier were fucking trying to. If I would have just said the word nigger in the first minute, he would have fucking felt like High he was five, off yeah. the hook immediately. <laughs> he would have paid for the cranberry yeah. and soda. Yeah, I was like, it wasn't even a fucking. Uh. So. Uh, Shaley had given me uh, money to pay for the the cranberry juice and stuff. And so when we came back, uh, I gave you a bunch of twenties. Yeah. So we came oh, back. Maybe that's the fucking wallet money. Well, it's I already no, know no, 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 you talk. guys are fucking. No, fuck we don't. We know. have no so idea. Fuck I don't want to get off track. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're it's, so close. I to gave him a bunch end. of twenties because I didn't know what he was gonna get. And uh, so when we get back, because. I know why he knows who we are is because you guys have me tip the fuck out of him when he takes me to get us booze and fucking stuff in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And so he knows exactly who we are. Oh, also, he already, yeah, yeah, I know who you guys are. I remember all the rooms you stayed in. And he named off all the room numbers yeah. wow. that we've stayed in. I forgot about that part. So I was like, all right. Oh, wow, that's weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That yeah, that's creepy. So <laughs> after we pulled after we pulled back up, I looked and I was like, oh, I just have all of Shaley's twenties. So I go, I go, uh, you guys, I go, you got, you have uh, ten, you have ten dollars, and he says, uh, and he goes, he goes, well, I got, I have two fives, and he comes over and he's still just super nervous. He has no idea, and he comes over and I told him twenty, and I took his two fives, and I was like, these guys would have had me fucking give you a twenty. Uh, for taking me over to do this, but you were a fucking dick earlier. So I'm going to give you $10 and the next time don't be a fucking dick whenever we go. But he like yanked, he yanked money back. Yeah, from yeah. Him. It's like, so that's why I'm taking that. Yeah, I, was, I was still a fucking <laughs> passive aggressive dick. And then as a diplomat, then when we got into the lobby where other people could hear us, I was like, uh, hey, if we're too loud up there, just come up and let me know, and we'll quiet down yeah. right away. But we're going to do our best to keep it down. But just let me know if we're too loud. Don't don't call the cops, uh, Abba. And he just fucking looked at me. I remember that when we were on the patio with the, uh, the, the young ladies, uh, there were people above us talking and, like, looking out the window with the lights on, and then we were so loud we that bad. they oh it was horrible. He told us they, they had four call. He told me they had four calls. They us, which of I course believe, I believe I was ready to call, but they they <laughs> they had they had like looked out the window with the lights on, and then realized that we didn't give a fuck, and then they turned the lights out, but they you could still see like their glasses yeah. <laughs> like shining. Yeah, from, yeah. it was horrible. Uh, but honestly, dude, you like the whole thing like with with uh, Abba when we were sitting there. That was not the time to get into it. The time to get into it was when you actually could okay. talk to him one on one because no one knew. Understood. No okay. one knew that was the guy. As a diplomat, that makes complete sense. As a guy who's still unsure whether the guy who's 50 feet from a phone is going to call the cops on me or not, I have 50 sure. feet to stop that from happening. Yeah. That's within my power, one way or the other. The cops are not going to get called. Granted, I'm glad that you stopped me and I, we were able to do it differently. No, it worked out really good. Yeah, yeah, we did it. But, Honestly. But one way or the other, you're not calling the fucking cops on me. I'm sorry. I'll stop it. He, he never said he was. But honestly, Tracy's the one who gave, gave up the, was that because those ladies were black? And that was the whole thing. I was I, like, motherfucker. I didn't even, I, and I still didn't want to believe it until I went with him and he immediately yeah, 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 yeah. tried to fucking put it on them and I was just like, oh, unfucking believable, man. They split like crazy. Like right Super. after, they were so nervous. I'm like, this is just us hanging out. I don't smoke pot. I, Doug doesn't smoke pot. You know, now that I think about it, that might be why I was willing to be so aggressive so fast when I thought the cops were going to be yeah. called is because I did extend my white privilege to people <laughs> and I did not want to renege on my white privilege. Wait, did you just say nig? Did you say nig? 
You said nig. White. Re- you said white. Re- priv. Re- nig. nig. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I have to get up to the hospital tomorrow, dude. This is hey, almost, this is like a Rogan podcast. Hey, uh, <laughs> can we? Uh, can I request a song to close? No, this no, 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 no. We have to do I, thank I, yous. I we got to thank yous. Well, I mean, yeah, when we're yous. done, can I'll I do fuck that? Fuck the thank yous. We'll save them for really? next time. A lot All of right. people have sent shit, especially for Bingo's birthday. We'll get to that. All right, uh, we'll save Bingo all Bingo cranks out of this. I feel like douchey. I wrote an update. I canceled all my gigs, et cetera, et cetera. And I was <laughs> keep saying, when she comes out of this, where in my heart I go, there's a if slash when. So I'm kind of falling into other people's positive thinking. But yeah, if or when, either way. We're, we're, we, we, we've been dealing with this since with how do we fuck with her? We kind of want to pretend that she's just going to pop out of this going, where am I? Well, how long has it been? And we know that if we start with while you were in a coma, <laughs> Trump became the president. And once we can prove that to her, all the other lies we'll tell her will hold true. It will seem reasonable. She'll believe that. I mean, it's not hard. If, I know Vine is gone now, but if you saw the old Vines we did where we just put a plastic bug outside the hotel door and she would just go fucking ballistic... Ugh. She can come out of a fucking coma. It's easy to trick. With a giant <laughs> scorpion, plastic scorpion. By the way, go, ah! when, when Doug told me that, I go, do you need the scorpion? He goes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. And then we have someone who can do all of us special effects style looking like we're 70. You've like 20 years older? For 20 years. <laughs> Gray wig. Trump was president. <laughs> She wouldn't even know term limits, so he, he's been president for fight thirty years. We can do a lot oh of shit. Oh my god, you're finally oh, awake! Shit. And there's like powder falling. There. Uh, so, so <laughs> everyone that's sending me, I appreciate all the text, tweets, Facebook, email, shitty. Uh, uh, yeah, just just throw dark. You if you're a comic. Don't say, hey, ho- hopes and wishes. Yeah, just send dirty, If I can do anything to help. If I can do anything to help, what can I do? Cash. What can you do? <laughs> <laughs> cash is Chad Shank. Send cash. Cash, cash, is, is, Chad 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 cash is always helpful. Honestly, dude. I had a really, <laughs> I had a really funny joke. Doug. It's for Sal Volcano. Before you get into the joke, I have to tell you right now, that was the saddest motherfucking thing. Oh, walked, Greg, close on that. No, you're going to close on a joke. Saddest motherfucking thing we walked into, and everyone that was here for her party stepped up like so huge, and it's like you could go do what you need to do, and we could come here and do everything, but honestly, I could not even look at what was happening. I had to look at the, the tech stuff. <laughs> Cry like Tracy. Do it. Cry I can't. Like it was earlier. But honestly, that was, that was tough to go there today, but everyone... Oof. Yeah, so... Everyone who came out here ended up not going to a party to eat cake. <laughs> they played saxophone to a girl who's comatose. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're closing. <laughs> we, can, we could go all maudlin, but we'll do that as soon as we say goodnight. Let me know if there's anything you need, and I've got that text, email, if there's anything you need at all. I wrote it down based on Jason Connors, who's an old friend. I hate to use the word fan. What could you possibly do? And I wrote a a joke down for this podcast that I can't remember. (laughs) What, what, if there's anything you can do, and I have no joke anymore. But But I I appreciate your sentiment. You know what? Text, tweet, Facebook, whatever, inappropriate jokes. Because prayers, hopes, and wishes don't work. But if you say something inappropriately, darkly funny, yeah, make us laugh. Yeah. He did the sweetest fucking thing into her ear. No, go I'm ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You already started. Fuck you. 
Well, it's about me, so fuck you. you and you're go- fucking going to a gig, you fucking asshole. I can't. How could you gigs. go? To- ah! oh, I'm just- sorry. Hey, Sally Tomatoes in Ronard Park. I'm <laughs> sorry, I missed that. Guess what? He's There's not showing not- up to disappoint you. <laughs> There's not a lack of ego involved in my part where I go, oh, if I do cancel these gigs, I don't have to play these pieces of shit that fucking Brian th- you don't remember Roner Park I had to fucking go to the back of the room stand on a banquet table at a wedding hall to yell at the front row from the back because there were such pieces of shit he, he canceled the front show up. and did a side stage show with me holding the fuck my flashlight to light him because right. he hated everyone in the front row yeah Roner Park guess what you uh, don't get that again there's too <laughs> many people to thank uh, for uh, hanging around, uh, I'm. I, you know what? You know the only person. <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. Oh, what? Pat Oswald. I thought maybe Pat, you might reach out because you know what? Yeah, you're the only person that you could talk to. I thought you'd reach out. You want tips and tricks from but Pat Oswald? It's still Oswald. ego related. <laughs> All right, uh, fucking done. Uh, Chad Shane. Chad has a song. Joby left. Chaley, Jen holding down the fort. Jenny holding down the fort. Probably a lot harder work for Jenny than just Jen. And uh, a million other people. That's uh, that's the story. And who knows how this ends. I'm getting yeah. super gay after the You know who has? This, this, I this guy. Let's do it. I have music. That's close. We probably can't get the, we probably can't play a girlfriend in a coma. How about? How about we do? Smith? How about we? But uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll play but, it. It won't but, go on SoundCloud. We're well, killing strangers. That's, yeah, fuck, that's what I want. We're, we're killing, killing strangers, so we don't kill the ones that we love. Killing strangers <laughs> by Marilyn Manson. <laughs> I swear to God, sooner or later, someone is gonna run. teach we got Stanhope gone. Melody. Better run. Motherfucker, we got guns. Fucking great song, man. Oh, Killing Strangers by Marilyn Manson. Play it, Shaley. My version was so much better. This world doesn't need no opera. Here for the operation. We don't need bigger knife. Bigger knife. Yeah.